This here's Clint. This is Jim Bob. We are the Whiskey Dregs. And this is the mother. 2018 Christmas special. That is right, mother. Yeah, it probably shouldn't be swearing. Lovers, huh. we love you all. We're going to try to get through this without swearing. Yeah, exactly. But there's no promises. Very true. Now, you might be noticing Jim Bob is wearing a very nice Christmas hat. Yeah, what happened to yours? I don't yours know. Yours was way better than mine, too. I don't know where mine went. Yeah, well, um, give it to girls. So, I'm wearing this here. Uh, pimp hat. Yeah, well, you know, it's... Well, the Christmas pimp. Yeah, I mean, Santa goes around, pimps out of oh, presents. No, Jim Bob, this is a wholesome... True. Family True. show. Let's keep it. Let's keep it real. Here, we're, we're gonna try to. No, no, no. I don't want. No, to. It's, it's ho, ho, ho. It's 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 the no, giving you, season. I can't do it, Jim Bobby. Wear it. I can't right, do it. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity to shine in this this Christmas special here. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Well, well let's look at this. Damn sweater. Yeah, you got the awesome sweater. I can't. Well, look at that thing though. Wow. I can't take it serious. Whiskey yeah, drinkers. Oh, wow. that don't sounds familiar. Really what's on the back? Whoa, holy! <laughs> your name's on the back. Wow, that's, that's real right. cool. That's that is right. All right. All right, so, uh, you know. Jolly to the bone. Not as cool as that, but you know. Not definitely not as cool as that. Which, uh, all right, so anyways. Anyways, it 2018. Is Christmas show. We uh, have a Christmas show every year. We try to. This We're, one's a little different. It's true. This one's a little different. We were, we what were did you call it? Christmas extravaganza. extravaganza. What we were thinking this year was that uh, instead of doing... Something like wholly Christmas related. Yeah. We're going to do something mostly Christmas related. And we're going to incorporate our shows that you love, the individual shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to have like a Whiskey Wills and Wrenching. Yep. We're going to have a, uh, what do we even call the guns one? Uh, uh Gunnery, I don't know. We have a gun show fun one. Fun with guns. Or, yeah. wait, whatever it is. Um, so um, we're going to break back to an old one, an old but goodie. Which is Whiskey Kitchen. Oh, yeah. And uh, hit them up with a Whiskey Kitchen. And a couple of reviews in between all It's these. true. A bunch of beer reviews. A bunch of beer reviews. Uh, Christmas beer reviews that, uh, what's his name, picked up? That uh, Bill from the uh, auto store picked up. Freaking Bill. He's a <laughs> but he did us a solid. So. He's, he's a butt hole. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, so, uh, all right, so what we're here for Yeah, we're going to kick this off right off the bat Sorry, with glasses. some Bill shots. And we'd like to give a shout out to Monosaur Gaston. Because he said, hey, you guys don't do shots anymore. And we're like, Shh, poop, we need to do shots. He got us back on our shot doing. So we're doing some shotters. Normally we should do all kinds of shots before the damn show. Uh, we didn't ever thought people like to see us shooting the shots on the show. So. Yeah, so we're going to do us a shot right now. Yep. And let's uh, start out with this one right here. Some eggnog. Well, you know, this is it's... This oh. is your average, everyday eggnog. There's yeah, nothing this in this. Yeah, you get at the store, it's run of the mill. So we're going to give us a little shot of roux. See what it tastes like. I think that this has a bunch of egg in it, not uh, so much nog, if you know what I'm saying. It says uh, egg nog, grade A, keep refrigerated, pasteurized, and homogenized. Wait, I think we should try the other one first. No, let's try this one first. All right, all Save right. the best for last. Now, this uh, Best Buy 12, 10, 18, so we got us a while. Yeah. Crack test? Yep. Well, it sounds like a milk dairy substance. Uh, oh, 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 shit. Holy shit. What? It looks a little thick. Now I can see that there's little bits of maybe cinnamon on you the know, bottom of this is thing. Is there any paper towels uh, over there? On the, I'll give you paper towels. Man, oh man, this looks like real gay right here. Wow. All right, so this is Giant Eagle Limited Edition. I don't know what that means. You, guess you can only get it for a little bit of time. Eggnog, pasteurized and homogenized, like you said. You're gonna need that. Thank you. Uh, there's nutrition facts, but who cares? Who looks yeah, at those? We're not worried about not that. us. All right. Bam. So let's give this a try. Give it a little smell. Are you sure there's no alcohol in this? Yeah, I don't think there is. It smells all right. Oh wait, wait, wait! I got a special. I got a special treat for us. A lot of people don't know how to live life. A lot of oh, people yeah. don't understand what class is, right? Well, we're classy people. We're real <laughs> classy people. So uh, what I'm gonna do is. Oh, look at that cinnamon shaving. Look, most of it's going on the table. True. Well, hey, might as well shave me some. Just stay where you're at. It'll hit mine anyways. <laughs> That's true. Look at that. I gave you this to clean up the jungle. I wish the camera could capture what I see right now, but I spy my eyes. I don't want to cut myself. This is a psycho micro knife. These are extra sharp. Sharp like a samurai sword. I don't have my glasses on. 
I can't see nothing. The cinnamon smells weird. Dude, I can tell you can't see because you're getting it all over the table. That right there is fresh cinnamon. Then what you do is you go there, buddy. Now don't choke on that. Be careful. All right. Well. All right. Look at this delicious treat. Do you, can you believe that? It's real, it's like Christmas time. All right. Bottoms up. Don't choke on it. Don't swish it. All right. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Mm. That's pretty good. That tastes all right. It's missing. It's missing something though. Oh, I didn't get that everywhere. It's missing. It's missing nog. There's not enough nog in there for me. Are you supposed to like chew and chew with cinnamon sticks or? Jeez. What are you doing? Well, I don't know, but let me eat some of this. It's like bark. I think you can chew on them, you know, if you're a weirdo. I think they're just for decoration. All right. They taste like something. This stuff already has cinnamon flavor in it. I can tell that. You can see the cinnamon inside of it. But I think the uh, enhanced cinnamon stick scrapings, I think it made a difference. Now, there's high fructose corn syrup in this, which ain't good for you. Oh, nutmeg is probably what I see in there. Now, nah, I, I can't see that. There's kids watching. Piece All right. Something. So, we gonna move on to the next one? Are we gonna rate this or something? You guys like the eggnog at home? Let us know down in the comments. What do you guys like it with? Normally, we drink whiskey with their eggnog, but... It tastes like something. I can't put my finger on. <coughs> All right, get that shit out of the way. Tastes like eggnog. Get your stuff out the way. Hold on here. I know what you mean. Oh, yeah. Whoa, we got a display. Oh. Bam! Wow. Kind of ruined it. All right, here. Southern Comfort Traditional Eggnog Ultra Pasteurized. Bam! So, we are going to see what this stuff is like. Now, this is pasteurized and homogenized. Let's see what that is. This is a uh, no, traditional egg dog, ultra I, pasteurized. I've been waiting for this. Oh, there's some to read on the side. Mind you, Southern Comfort. So it this is. stuff here is spiked, if you will. Yes. Up. All right, 1980 or 18. Calm down. I am. I am. In 1874, M. W. Hero took harsh whiskeys of the time and mixed them with his own blend of fruits and spices to create a whiskey that could be enjoyed comfortably. Since then, Southern Comfort has been spreading the soulful and vibrant taste or spirit of New Orleans. Now, I myself am a Soco fan, but I have noticed. There's a substantial difference between the Southern Comfort 80 proof and the Southern Comfort 100 proof. Don't yeah. waste your time on the 80 proof. The 100 proof is where it's at. Well, look at this. Preparation. Mix one quart eggnog with one cup Southern Comfort, which I think they already did in here. Yeah. Cause Pour in glass and garnish with a cinnamon stick. That's what I just did. I, they are, that's I like didn't even read that. It's like they knew. Now, there's eggs in this. That's kind of gross. There was eggs in the other stuff, too. Yeah, it's egg nog, Jim Bob. I know. Well, let's what get... What do you think the nog is? Well, it nogs the uh, alcohol. All right. Uh, well, it sounds like it was sealed. has a crack. You just tasted it, Jim Bob. You spoiled it. You can't do it that way. Well, I didn't really get a good taste. I wonder what... Okay, I need to know what nog is. Nog is the uh, alcohol. Okay, now keep in mind, this stuff here oh. has alcohol and you can't be driving because it's selling comfort. If it didn't have alcohol in it, they wouldn't put Southern Comfort on it. Very true. Poor test. Oh, whoa, oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. whoa, 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 Oh, man. That it looks like it has alcohol. It looks a lot smoother. This right here, I would say, is more yellower. Yeah. This is. It's this more. Got, still got on the table. You are a mess. Can't take you nowhere. Well, uh. Yeah, move your cup. Move your cup. I'm put some cinnamon stick in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sticking there. Uh, it smells the same. Does it smell the same? Yeah, but I know that this is going to get me. Oh, no. Ooh. I can smell. You can smell the alcohol? I can smell the Southern Comfort in there. <laughs> All right, man. Well, get ready. Get ready, get ready to get messed up. up. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I can taste it. That's one of the gayest feelings I ever had right there. Mmm. This stuff is, has a disgusting texture to it. Ugh. 
But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Man, I want some more of this stuff. Mm. We're not shot at. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I bet you this is a real high alcohol percentage of stuff. <clears throat> oh, I can tell it's in there. I don't think they tried it on the eggnog though. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. Um, where's the cat fork? Mm. That is real good. I do like that a lot. I just say I feel like I'm catching a buzz already. <clears throat> Now, I remember this is a kid show and stuff. Well, it's not a kid show, is it? Uh, nah, uh, yeah. It is a texture of. Well, this stuff is a lot smoother than the other stuff. Where's the other bottle? Bring it up here. Yeah, it is a lot smoother. It's a lot smoother. Well, this stuff. Uh, this stuff here is. Uh, doesn't have alcohol. No, it's just generic eggnog. Just normal shit. Spend like 50 cents more and get the stuff with the Southern Comfort already in it. Yep, that's true. Now, big difference. Here's what I say now. That's his tip. Here's my tip. You go to that store, you buy one of these. You go half skis. You grab one of these. You do a little half for real. You go half skis. And right there, you kind of dilute it, but it's still good though at the bottom. And it's still going to get you messed up. And you get to save. You don't drink as much. It's going to get you where you need to be. That's right. Sometimes you got to substitute. The only problem with this stuff is I wonder if it's going to give you the egg farts. Mm. Mm hmm. It's really good, though. I bet. I mean, we're probably both going to be laying on the floor and stomach's hurting. Probably. Having to <laughs> ourselves. But being constipated. I mean, poop ourselves. There's about eight ser servings in this container. So the serving size is half a cup. So I wonder how many shots are in a cup. Woo! In a half a cup. Probably a lot. Holy shit. Stuff. Wow. Shivering. Shingle sticks. I'm, I'm feeling really? a buzz. Um, okay, if I had to give them a rating based Whew. on our, our bottle rating system. Yeah. I'm going to give this one here the uh, generic stuff. I'm going to give it like a two. Mm hmm. Because, I mean, it doesn't make you want to throw up. I'm going to give it like a two. Well, this stuff, I'm going to give it a five. Straight five. It's It's, it's good. I'm going to give this a good. one because it's a good chaser to this stuff because, man, that is packed full of alcohol. That's a good idea right there. Now, uh, you can put more alcohol in this if you want to, you but want I, don't, to. I don't think you really need to. Yeah. Damn. I, I tell you what, too, but I'm feeling it. I am, too. I suggest you guys go and buy yourself <sighs> Spice Classics Stick Cinnamon. Yeah, you're going to need that. You can stick these in there, make them cool garnishes, <sighs> shave that off. How the f*** are you going to do the rest of the show? I don't know. Well, let's, let's start, cut the one of them clips so we can sell. Be careful with this stuff. This yeah, you stuff don't ain't a joke, drink guys. drive after you're drinking this stuff. Jeez. Um, all right, let's cut the one of our shoes. All right, where's Jimbo? Where are you Jimbo, where are you going? It's behind us. Sit oh, down. You're fall on your ass. All you do is turn around. Southern Comfort's talking to me. We'll be right back. Well, here's what we decided to do. We had our good friend Bill from down at the auto store. Yeah, that asshole. We had him go to the local distributor, 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 distributor the distributor, distributor, yeah, of uh, alcoholic beverages. We had him make us a mix and match six pack of uh, Christmas esque beers. Now Bill's taste is equal to pretty much. So we're hoping that he picked us some good stuff. Plus Bill's half blind. Well, there's always the fact that, well. Bill doesn't spend money on beer, so the fact that we had to pay him True. to buy us a $12 six-pack, yeah, I, he doesn't know what the hell's going in there. I either. wouldn't be surprised if he got us cheap beers just so he could buy himself some beer, too. That's always a good possibility. I mean, Bill is used to, like, the prison hooch. He is. Oh, so, yeah. we're going to pick out we got all the beers right here in a bag. Oh, in the prison cooch. In the prison cooch. It's a little bit late. But. Like, a, like, a, like a man purse. <laughs> exactly. So, oh, yeah. Or a prison wallet. So the beers are in a bag. We can't yeah. see what oh, yeah, they yeah. are. We don't know what they are. Hopefully they're beer. I hope so. Hopefully. That's true. And, uh, Hopefully they're not sticky. We're just going to reach down here. Yep, you go ahead. And pull one out. I can't get the bag open without looking at it. Okay, there we go. Got one. Ready? Yep. And here's what we got. We have a uh, winter lager. Okay. Festive, bro Festive Bach beer. Oh, man. It's a Bill. limited release. However... This is Sam Adams, so 
nice suit with Sam, Sam Adams is it's pretty reputable. It's hard to go wrong there. That's you got a good point. Oh wait, there's some there's some more shit here. Lager brewed with a orange peel, cinnamon, and ginger. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. might be like a blue moon type of thing. Might be all right. Um, where the hell's the bottle opener? For brewery fresh taste, enjoy before month notched. That's May. So we got a couple months there. Did you find it? No, I found a case for it. Charger. Okay, all right. We almost had a catastrophe. Oh, Holy shit. Shit. Oh, okay. don't, don't spill the cocaine. In case you haven't seen this yet, this here is the 50 cal bottle opener. Oh, man. If you don't have one, if you never had one, but if you want one, just get a link down below to Amazon and get yourself one of these. This is the best bottle opener I've ever used in my life. Very okay? true. And I'm not even bullshitting because we're trying to sell these. I'm saying that because this thing is just amazing. Now, those things would be great for your stocking stuffer this year for your kids. When I was a kid, I had one of them dummy grenades. Man, I threw that thing around all the time. I loved that thing. I'd love to have one of those when I was a kid. Now we have them laying around everywhere. I had to make sure there was no weed stash in there. Hey. This thing here is a, is the best bottle opener I've ever used. Like, sincerely, from the heart. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, is there anything else on here? Um, oh, yeah. Is. Percentage. 5.6% uh, by volume. So yeah. it's not, not, not too high. Not too bad. Yeah. It's uh, probably like a good driving beer. Yeah. And by driving, I mean like not. when you're sitting at home watching TV at NASCAR. On your video. NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, NASCAR. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Crack test. Oh, it had an interesting little thing going did on. Did you there. see? I did not have to reposition. I just put that. Yeah, on. Beautiful. It's amazing. All right, let's get a report. It fell beautifully. Oh, she's pretty. Wow, golden amber. She is pretty. Golden amber. Oh, she got a nice head on her. Very nice head on her. Oh wow, she's like a redheaded right here in this cup. Just ah, it. It, whatever. Oh, this is a nice cup. Isn't it like a redheaded? Nice cut. woman. Well, you just want to take her to dinner and buy her steak. Now these here are our own patented design. These are our color sheets. You can buy these if you want to. Yeah, you have to buy them off of us. Yeah, but special. You can see right there the color is pretty nice. Now with these special papers, you don't see color. Color sheets, not papers. Color, color sheets. Exactly. We're patented. The smell test. Oh, that smells like a man's beer. Yeah. That smells mean, like a man's beer. Definitely lager going on with this. I got definitely sense of lager. First memory recollection is the Sierra Nevada Bigfoot beer. Oh, that's what it, it reminds me of. First thing. See, it reminds me of, oh, there's cinnamon in this and ginger. It reminds me of, uh, yeah, there's my, I don't know. It don't remind me of nothing. I was going to say like a uh, black and tan. Yingling. Oh, yeah, yeah. But more good stuff in it. I don't Give know. her a go. All right. Swish her around. Cheers. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. It's pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty. Mmm. Sammy Adams. You can't really go wrong with Sammy Adams, you know? It's one of them big companies that you can trust. Not too bad. Now, I don't taste ginger. I taste the cinnamon. Do you? I taste a little bit of a bite of the cinnamon. I don't really taste it. Taste the lager. I don't and taste I, any orange I taste peel. the orange peel. You do? It's an orange peel. It's, it's, yeah, it's more than it is an orange. It's like that white if you're chewing on that. You know, Maybe membrane. my taste buds are just dead. Either, either way, I like it. Um, so these are going to be quicker videos. I'm gonna go ahead and give her five out of five. Oh yeah, five wow. out of five. I mean, well, it's... I'm gonna give her four out of five. Really? You can taste all this. I mean, it's all right. And I can. I still give it a high. I've had better beers. I can drink this. Well, I don't <laughs> myself out and get fives like that. <laughs> I keep my fives for real good stuff. This one was all right though. Four, good four. It's it's definitely. This is a. I would call this a dinner beer. Yeah. This is a for me. This is a five out of five dinner beer. I would like to have this beer when I'm eating a burger and fries. Oh yeah, Wouldn't like to bad. me yeah, that yeah. sounds like it would yeah. go really well. It's like a light beer, but yet a heavy beer in a way. Even a standard uh, this. Woo, burn perfected, full effect. Nice, very nice. I smell what I ate. Um, oh, it has a nice taste on the back end. It does. Burger. 
It uh, and it doesn't stick around a long time though. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's kind of it's it's a nice equilibrium. It doesn't stick around because it's limited release. That's probably why. Oh. You go out and buy yourself a case of this now because you ain't gonna be able to get it in a month. That's right. I, I would say if you guys like gingling and loggers and stuff, it's a logger but with more complexity to it and it's more stuff going on. All right. I well, think I can kind of taste the orange peel. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, little notes of. No ginger. I, don't I like. I still five out of five. I really like it. It's smooth. It doesn't have a hoppy, real hoppy flavor to True. it. I don't think it's gonna give you heartburn. Yeah. Like I said, burger and fries, steak and potato. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wouldn't chill bill for that. It's a steak beer right there. I like. It. All right. Well, back to the show. Yep. Woo! Wow. That was pretty damn interesting. That was interesting. Get that off the table. That's one thing we're good at being interesting. Yep, right there. Just stay there. Damn. All right, so big part of the show right now is yeah. we're gonna do this for the kids and stuff. Yeah, um, you want to tell them? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll tell them. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I think about that for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally sure. All right, and keep in mind we have had the eggnog, we have oh. had the beer. We're we're getting there. Yeah. All right, here we go. Um, let's do some dramatic slow mo. Sure. <gasps> Get. Yep. Now a lot of people at home would might make their own gingerbread houses out of actual supplies and stuff. Yeah, Not us. Might. We go to the store and buy this for twenty bucks, ten bucks, or whatever. Uh, it might have been on sale for like five bucks. This yeah. actually might be left over from last year. Now it might speculate. be. We got it on sale. Now this right here goes back to the Nordic culture of the uh, Vikings. Yes, yeah, so of the house building of the ginger. They would build the gingerbread houses oh, yeah. to keep away the wolves. Yeah, and the wolves had something they because eat. wolves will not eat ginger. It's a proven fact. Exactly. That's why if you ever go camping in like the Ozarks, you always wear a little bit of ginger on you. Like exactly. You shake it on you by the seasoning bottles. But we don't have to because we're naturally gingers. <clears throat> yeah. And that right there keeps the wolves away. Now, let's uh, crack this up. All right. Oh, I got this new knife. Somebody sharpened for right. me. I mean, this guy right here. All right. Careful. Let's see. Careful. I know it. Wow, like, like butter. Butter. Like butter. Uh, like butter, like butter. Now, All right. you slide that. I want to read some of the stuff on the back. Too. Woo! Look at this West. thing. All right, here. 27 servings per container. That means there's a lot of servings here. This is 130 calories. This is oh, per wow. serving. Um, oh, look at all these candies. We got some candies. We got some sweet tarts. We got some nerds. We got some rice. We got some bottle caps. Yeah, yeah. Bottle caps are probably not very good for you. Jim oh, Bob. Where did I go? I heard it. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Finders keepers. Um, let's say ingredients for the sweet tarts and ball caps and all that stuff. White icing ingredients. Um, please read all instructions before starting. Adult supervision is recommended. We don't have to worry about that because our parents allow us to do stuff. That's true. It does have you on the directions right back here on how the steps you got to take. Um, Ways to cut the icing and uh, um, and as usual, <laughs> do you, but we can't eat all that stuff. Mm. Um, as usual, we're not gonna worry about the directions because we're, we're carpenters by by trade. Uh, I see how pieces already together. Now I see some glue. And what's that for? Now I see a container. What's this? That's the glue. Uh, the icing, whatever you want to call it. I call it glue. Do you have to make this? Is it powder in there? No, no, no. Oh, I'm going to break the wall. It's not powder? Is it? No, I don't think. You threw away the instructions. No, you did. They're not my lava. We'll never get those back. Important. I don't think we want to use that. All right. This is important. Need massage icing pouch until it feels soft, smooth, and consistent. Good. Um, massage it. Have adult cut one of the corners. Oh, man. It's hard. All right, now if I was uh, just looking at this, good. being the carpenter that I am, smells good. I see there are windows right here on this piece. There's a door on this piece. Whatever this is, I'm eating a sleep. There's a door on this piece. We got two matching pieces right there. 
Oh, right here. These right here. The roof. The roof. The roof. The roof. roof. Right there. All right. Well, before we, we get started. We give ourselves. I, now, hold on here. Oh, good. Good. I was going to say, before we get started, let's get another clip. And then, uh, oh, good call. Before we'll come back from the clip, this ought to be done. All right. And we'll get started on this. Let's forward another one. All right. Welcome to Whiskey Kitchen. Yeah, I know it's been a while. Yep, but we haven't had a kitchen. It, no, that too. <laughs> and we got us this here. Jim Bob, you know what this is? I do. That's a that's a rack right there. That's a rack. And I'm, we're not talking about nah. boob cop. We're talking, we're talking about, exactly. Not okay. I, first of all, this is a Christmas special. This is oh. not one of. What? I forgot it was a Christmas special. I'm sorry, I wouldn't have been talking about uh, all that stuff. Yeah, I didn't think about it myself, really. This is not one of Santa's reindeer. I promise you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh... But Santa's re reindeer were in an accident, though. But, but that's not From one of Santa's reindeer. What we hear. Yeah, yeah. So, um, got the deer. Yeah, that, that, well, hold on. Mr. Modest over here, he got that deer on the first day, wasn't first it? Day, two first 15 day. 15 p.m. <laughs> Beautiful deer. I went out and looked at that thing in the back of his truck, and I was surprised at the, the size of that thing. It was bigger yeah, it was than I thought deer. it was going to be. But uh, we got the meat back because I'm too lazy to cut the myself. Yeah. So I took a couple steaks, and there we go. Bam. Took some steaks, sliced them up nice and thin. I mean, you can see there, nice little pieces there. Whew. These are uh, nice little thin pieces. Now, you can go to Walmart, and you can get yourself meat that's been sitting there for five days this right here is cut straight off the deer Jimbo this is a kid special should be oh, swear I keep forgetting uh, you know what I'm anyway so decided I gotta make some jerky because what goes better with your Christmas meals and your family get-togethers than jerky yeah the beef jerky man I was smelling it it smelled real weird it's not beef jerky it's deer jerky that deer jerky my deer jerky so with that being said Roll we got to get we yeah, rope sleeves. We got to get some ingredients in there to make this jerky. Jerky. Because right now it's just raw. That's true. You cook that up, it's just gonna taste plain. Looks kind of weird. So we got some ingredients here. We got that right there. Soy sauce. That's um, used for Asian dishes. We got us uh, some apple cider vinegar. That's used for uh, well, douches and stuff. Uh, Worcestershire sauce. This Worcestershire, is Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. This is a uh, authentic, also value time. Let's see here. We got some Domino's dark brown sugar. This is pure cane. Premium. Oh, right here's one. This is Colgan liquid smoke. This right here is indoor easy, outdoor delicious. You know what this is? This is original mesquite, original recipe. That's right. Now, what exactly is this right here for the people that don't know? Liquid smoke is exactly what it sounds like. It kind of looks like soy sauce, but it tastes like you're chewing on charred wood. Yeah, because what it does is, is it uh, it takes the plate, you know, normally you'd be smoking this shit, the smoke stuff in yeah. a smoker and uh, you know what I mean? And then all the, you know, the wood would be burning and, and that's how it cook. You can't do that. It's an artificial smoke. Artificial. All right, here. Now, I took a screenshot of the uh, ingredients or the, the amounts, good idea. the directions and stuff because I can't remember stuff. So. And you want to kind of be good with your directions. Yeah, so, all right. First things first here. We need a half a cup of brown sugar. Now, make sure you don't get white sugar. Make sure you don't get blue sugar. You need brown sugar. And there's dark brown sugar and there's light brown sugar. You went for the dark brown yeah. sugar. When I do rubs and stuff, I also go for the dark brown sugar. I don't know what the difference is. I think, uh, I think I mean, you get more what, sweet. What really, is there? I think you get more sweetness within the darker stuff. Really? I just made that up, but. Well, sounds good. More flavored to savor. I think, I think it's not being sharpened. So okay. we need a cup of this. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Grandpappy's knife, yeah? Yeah, Grandpappy's knife needs sharpened. It's, it, oh, no, it's a kid show. Jeez. It definitely needs. Okay, it's this is half man. a cup right here. Half a cup. Quit looking at them steaks, Louie. You ain't getting none. You're Shut not up. getting none, Louie. Half a cup right there. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Half a cup of uh, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Let me show the audience at home. You need like a twisty tire or something. Yeah, 
Have you ever had brown sugar? Like just eating a piece of brown sugar? No. I use it for rubs and stuff. Here, though. give me a little bit. I don't really want to eat it. That's weird. It's weird. It's not bad. Hey, it's not bad. It's just weird. Anyway, anyway well, it is weird. Whatever the brown is in that, that's what uh, you get the more taste of in the darker brown sugar. Yeah, it's uh, it's weird. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just weird. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, half a cup of soy sauce. Give me the soy sauce. Bam. Half a cup of soy half sauce. Half a cup of soy sauce. I'm gonna just take the lid off. We don't need a dripper. I'm not a big soy sauce fan, so we're gonna go a little less than half a cup. Wow. Yeah. I think you're gonna have some lighter. Now, see, what I would do is I'd substitute the soy sauce for uh, Dale's seasoning. Because Dale's seasoning is one of them, it's pretty much like soy sauce, but it's very true. It's um, good. let's see, half cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of cider vinegar. Quarter cup of cider vinegar. Now, I didn't bring a quarter cup, uh, so we're just gonna guess. From what I've read, there's all types of home remedies involving apple cider vinegar, so it's a good thing to have around. That looks about like a quarter. All right, a quarter is half a cup. That looks more like an eighth. Well, you got to do a little, uh, a little, a little bit more, a little guesstimation. Close enough. Because here at Whiskey Kitchen, we don't follow things to a deep. All right, um, one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. sauce. That stuff. Right there. Now, we usually, in the older shows, we'd always use bacon and stuff, and there were certain things. You know, like I said, our kitchen burnt down, so we're just trying to do what we can do. Splashy, splashy. Now, this. That smells pretty good. All right, that's loud as hell. Sorry. You can really, uh,. You can really uh, smell the flavors starting to come together. Yeah, yeah. What's it smell like? Um, I don't know. It smells like <clears throat> like vinegary. It just uh, smells pungent in a way, but you can tell that's going to be good. Smoke. All right. The thing is with liquid smoke is they don't really make this easy to come off of here. Or do they? Um, here, you want me to show you how I do it? Yeah. Like a man. Oh, I didn't know this how it worked. Well, uh, I actually just guessed. Like, uh, that was just a good guess as all. Now, the liquid smoke is a potent. What, what are we looking at? In as much, how much you got to put in? Uh, four drops. Are you serious? Four drops. You see that? So you got to be careful at home with this liquid smoke. This stuff's real potent. But uh, it'll probably give you diarrhea and all that kind of stuff. Mm, smells good. Now, you know, if there are kids out there watching this, and you know, whoo, yeah, it smells potent. potent. It smells like smoke. It smells like a smoked, the smoke flavor. All right, so it, four drops. Two, three, four. Good enough. <clears throat> you need a little extra. I'm telling you, Jim Bob, you need a little extra. All right, yeah, yeah. But that's it. You don't need much. But kids that. at home, if you're watching and you guys were making this at home yourselves, you guys killed a deer this season, buck season. Congratulations. But this is about the part where where you, you get in and you start mixing it up. Yeah, but but you might want to get your parents here in a little bit. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you're gonna have to use a stove. But I'm thinking, I think it just—it smells good. It, it does, does smell good, good, but I think it's missing something. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's missing something. What's it missing? It's missing a little of this oh, right here. Oh, bam! Thanks, Majad. Rye, Majad stuff. Yep. This here is a uh, this clay type bottle. Um, this is honey apple wine with hops added. It's a product of Denmark. This is about uh, 20 bucks a bottle, something like that. I don't know. No. Now, hold on. Why did you pick this? Well, I just thought the apple might go well with the with the hickory smoke, the apple cider vinegar, brown sugar. Yeah. just thought it would be a sweet, it, yeah, it adds. almost like a, a treat jerky. Because that's what you want to do. I don't know much about cooking, but I do know this. You want to have kind of things that... Um, Hit against each other. You know what I mean. You want sweet yeah. and sour. You want you know. Yeah, give me that hot and cold. Thing. I think that'll work well in there. I think it would. Yeah, because I mean you're only getting hints of it. See, I would personally myself go for the dragon's blood, but that probably wouldn't go. Good. Vikings blood. There we go. Bang. I think that's better. Get a little splashy, splashy there. Now hopefully that doesn't mix up our water. To solid ratio. Well, it doesn't matter because 
This is just a marinade is all this is right here. Oh, I see. This is just a marinade to let it sit in. Now, what I would do is I would take some fresh ground pepper. And whenever I had them all laid out, I'd sprinkle that fresh ground pepper over top of them. And then you get yourself some peppers. It's not a bad idea. Because I like that stuff. Maybe we'll do that. It's not a bad idea. Whew. All right. Well, now it's time to mix it. Do you need the saran wrap yet? Not yet. All right. We're going to mix this up here. The best way to do it is to get in there and do it by hand. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, it's nasty. It's, it's ugly. It actually looks kind of nasty just like this. Yeah, it does. But that is your marinade. Your marinade's usually not going to, you know, that's not the finished product right there. Now, how long are they going to want to let this sit overnight? I'm going to let this sit for a couple of days. A couple of days, you couple see? Of days. Now, he is going to let this, and this is fresh meat. So, yeah. in a way, even though it's not really, it's preserving it in a way just by sitting there and marinating. Yeah. It can be okay in that marinade for a couple of days. So then, uh, yeah, a couple of days, you're going to have some amazing beef jerky. I now, think... Uh, I think that's all right. So, uh, do they have to? The people doing this at home now? Do they have to use the ramajan? They don't. They do not. They do not. I just thought that. Well, face facts. On whiskey kitchen, it's got to have alcohol in it. Exactly. Now, hold on here. Now, second one is: Do they have to wait four days in the marinade? No. No. So they can do it next day in the but, morning if you want. So you would say give it a good day. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> but it's just like when we drink. I like to. Let myself marinate in the alcohol. Yeah. So I really get the full effects of it. It's a good point. Just like this, the longer that meat, just like a body, the longer this meat or that meat absorbs the alcohol, the better it'll be. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. sense. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's wrap it up with some right. saran wrap here. All right, I can't I'm use that. I'm real bad at it. So, uh, you're, you're supposed to put this in a freezer bag, but um, I don't have any freezer bags, so I just figure I'll leave it in the. Yeah, make sure to use a cut jar here. Don't even cut it. Just uh, keep all that goodness Whew. sealed in there. There we go. Man. Uh, now, that's a good thing. Marinates are a very some important thing if you guys don't know about marinates out there. Yeah, you got to marinate your meat. You like, yeah, some chicken or something. Just take some, uh, what's that, Italian dressing. Oh, put yeah. it in some Italian oh, yeah. dressing overnight. That right there will spice that chicken up in ways you won't even believe. Actually, you know what I like? I like, um, uh, what is it called? Um, red wine vinegar. Oh, me too. Marinade chicken and red wine vinegar. Oh, that is pretty amazing. It is pretty good. You got a date coming up or something? That's going to woo her. Yeah. It's all about them woos. It is. All right. We're going to put that in the fridge let it sit for a couple days. Yeah. Three, how many days? I don't know. I don't like to give it a time limit because you just never know. Well, 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 you're, we're going to catch back up with them, right? Yeah. So we'll... You. Yeah, the next step will be taking it from here and putting it on in the dehydrator. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do it in the oven. I got one of them round dehydrators where it's like six tiers high or whatever. Nah. Just put it in there, plug it in, and walk away. How long is it going to take in the dehydrator? You think? Uh, probably about 10 hours. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a good day's work. Oh, something I want to say too is I don't know about this meat so much, but I do know about beef jerky. You want to have your cuts. Okay, There's a little phrase that came two, out after. A two. <laughs> so uh, you want to have your meats cut as this back up. You want to have your meats cut as thin as possible. Yeah. Right. If you guys can't get a deer, you guys want to have some beef jerky of your own. You can go out there and get your own kind of cut some meat, and you can cut your own meat if you know what you're doing. That's right. Make your own beef jerky. And after about five hours, I would check it because you're gonna have some that are thinner than others, and those ones might be done or getting close That's to it. That's a good point. So after about five hours, I'd definitely give it a check and see what's going on. All right. Well. All right. Well. That's about it. All right, our jerky is cured now for like a week. Oh, maybe yeah. two, three, who knows. So now it's time to do the final touches to it, get it here, this food dehydrated. What's well, gonna do it in the oven? But I figured I have this, might as well use it. This is a uh, Nesco American Harvest food dehydrator and jerky maker. Tops like that. Each one of these is a different, different rod or different story of a building, if you will. And then you got your bottom. Now, we were just talking about one of our friends who would always have all these weird roots and stuff. Be drying up all kinds of hibiscus leaves and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, I don't know. Probably to use them for who reasons knows, we what? don't agree with. But uh, anyway, we're using this thing for jerky. All right. Yeah. So, take the top off here. Start at the bottom round. So, how long is this going to 
take and how long would the oven take? I'm thinking this is going to take about four or about five or six hours. How, how long do you think the oven would take? The oven? Well, you, you want to cook it slow. Well, the problem with an oven is you don't have a lot of air circulation. It's true. Whereas this here, you can see through here, it's uh, it's forcing air down through it, so it's keeping constant circulation. So it's going to work a lot quicker for you. Yep. These are definitely the way to go. Well, a lot of people do might turn up the heat too much, end up cooking the meat. A little, dice, little dead skin right there. You're not trying to cook the meat, you're trying to dry it out. It's, it's already drying it out. It's already cured, smoked, all that. Alright, how's she smell? It actually smells kind of sweet. It's got a sweet smell. Yeah, it does have a sweet smell too. So, well, nothing left to do now. Let's start taking these out, putting them on here. Alright. Now, it's cold. It's sitting in there. Now, make sure you wash your hands. You weren't wiping your butt or rubbing your pecker or doing nothing like that. That's a good point. You want to have clean hands. Do you want to go ahead and do this, Jimbo? Oh, yeah. Have it. Switch me places. Now, we want to make sure all this juice ain't going down the bottom. Now, you could do that, but that's messy. One try to. You know, marinade's not meant to be all over it. It's just meant to be inside of it. That's right. And like I said, we got four of these here. And you don't have to use all four of them. Just whatever you need. It's true. You were saying you stack those. Yeah. You buy, keep buying them and just stack them as high as you want. Yeah, you can buy the inserts. You can have that thing 10 stories tall if you wanted to. Wow. Wouldn't, be, that, wouldn't that be a Christmas? It would be. To remember. Now, I don't know if making it 10 stories tall, though, would be good for that because that's got to heat and circulate the air through all of That's them. a good point. You might have to up the heat. Yeah, you might have to buy a bigger one. All right, now, so, we, do we want to put more on here? Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah, we don't so, want to. Now, after that, we got don't want to put too much on. We've got here salt and pepper. Put a little salt here. Wow, look at that little. Now, this salt here is going to cure. It's going to help cure the meat. You don't want a lot of salt. The ergonomics of that thing on your hands. It's well designed. But now here's the beautiful part. Beautiful part. Now I got the pepper. <laughs> wow. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Every piece of the beef skin and pepper up on it up in here. Wow. Now Just like that. Emerald Agassi style. You bet. Now you go to good old Walmart, you might buy yourself some uh, pepper jerky or whatever, spend an extra five bucks just for pepper. You can make your own, it's going to taste better from a deer, and uh, you know. And, and you're going to feel self-worth because you shot that deer. It's true, and you won't be supporting communism. That's true. All right, we're going to get these on here, plug her in. We'll check back with you in a couple hours when it's done. Oh yeah. All right. All right, well, here it is. The turkey is done. Oh, yeah. We hope it's done. Yeah, it'd be laughing. Uh, but it looks like it's done. Woo! It yeah. Smells pretty good. It smells pretty give good. It, give it the bend test. Yeah, you bend it, it starts, the fibers rip inside. Oh, yeah. It's done. Ready? Yep. Yeah, well, Cheers. Try. Cheers. It almost tastes like beer. It tastes like apple and beer. It does taste like beer. Taste the apple. Because the alcohol is not cooked off of that. No. There's still, we're going to get drunk off of this. Probably. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> it is pretty good. Because beef jerky, you used to get like the same type of flavors and stuff. This is a whole nother ball game. It's like sweet. It's not really hot. It's like sweet beer. What did you use? Danks Mujad? No, Rod Mujad. Which is the Danks Mujad apple. Why? With hops. That's where it is. The hops. There's the hops, hops in I can, Rod Mujad. It, it tastes like uh, apple to me. Mm -hmm. Whew, that right there is a good combination. It's we, interesting. We were just farting in the darkness. We well, didn't realize. And the apple cider, too. You don't like it? I do like it. I'm surprised. I'm, uh, because the smell of it, when we started making it, was like, ah, oh, I don't know about this. It's yeah, vinegary. 
No vinegar at all. This takes you to some heavenly place. It's like an apple beer. Wow. So you guys at home. Write that recipe down. Yeah, if you guys want to try this good recipe. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a pint of out of me. Yeah, I know. It's poop out of me. It's about to poop out of me, too. All right. Let's eat all this stuff. We probably are. Let's right. not say anything. Let's eat it all. That See was whis or, uh, oh. not Whiskey Wilson Ranch. That was uh, Whiskey Kitchen. That's right. All right. We'll, we'll see you later. All right, well, let's see Ooh. what Bill from the auto store yep. has purchased for us. Probably something bad. Probably. You want to go ahead and do Oh, yeah, I'll do the Do the other one? We, just, we'll grab uh, this one. Bam! What do we got there? This is a Dark Horse Maple Four Elf, Elf Winter Warmer Spiced Elf. I think they just made all that shit up. Yeah, I think they just slung some words together. This is I like the picture. Oh, yeah. Dark, Dark Horse, Horse Brewing Company, Marshall, Minnesota. Jim Bob never wears his glasses, so he can hardly read it. Yeah, I can't see nothing. It has this weird-looking Santa Claus-looking guy. Looks like a weirdo. Maybe a lumberjack, there Canadian you know. lumberjack. There it is. Pull out the trusty 50 cal bottle. Oh, wait. Uh, you know what? I want you to use All right, yeah. Stuff. I'll crack that some up. But no, we got to see real quick. What the alcohol percentage? Should be right there in the front somewhere. Oh, oh 8.75. Damn. That's not too bad. That's damn. The last one, my old one, last one, mine was only 5.5. Picked us up. So, Freaking winner. This one will be good. Now, Jim Bob, you use that. You tell me How good if that's not the best bottle opener you've ever used. All right. Crack test. <laughs> wow. I usually mess it all up right there. Ba boom, boom. See that, kids? Even Jim Bob can do it. That's right. Half, don't tell me that thing's not mentally nice. not there. Oh yeah, very that nice. Very nice. Mm. All right, so do the do port it? test. I'll oh yeah, you can do the port test. Yeah. yeah. Really like but I'm gonna get this special. Uh, Eight point seven five. Holy. <laughs> there we go. What's she gonna look like? Oh man, look at that. She's got a brown color to her. That's probably maple. Oh. The head on that. Nah, I, I splashed it a little bit. But uh, I figure being a darker beer, it's not going to have a heavy head to it. It has a pretty heavy head to it. Oh, yeah. Boy, is that pretty. Well, there should be maple in here. Winter, warmer. I bet you there's some kind of spices to make it, make you warm up. Yeah, there is. You smell that? Oh, it smells really good. I don't know what it is. Oh, what do I smell there? Uh, I don't smell the maple. But yeah, I, I don't smell, smell something. The, I don't know what you it's mean. like a nutmeg or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe some cinnamon. Almost like an oatmeal cookie. Yeah, warmer, winter, warmer, spiced ale. Yes, there must be some kind of cinnamon or oatmeal cookie or something. There's uh, there's some cinnamon I smell. I smell some cinnamon. Oh, what's this? What about this? Oh, I don't think you need to. I mean, you can't even see through it. Well, well okay, use the, use the color sheets. These right here are the official color sheets once again. Bam, do you see that? You Pretty can't, much, you can't just buy color sheets anywhere. Now that's gonna look a little black to you, but it's a more of a amberish hue when the light hits it. We've been reviewing these beers for a long time. I'm thinking if I had like an air freshener or a candle or something to smell like that, I would burn that thing. Yeah, that thing would smell good. It almost really smells good. like root beer. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely. A little bit like root there's beer. a good root beer too. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna think. I think it might taste like root beer. All right. Down the hatch. Oh, man, that fizzing. A lot of fizzing. That's complex. It is complex. That's very complex. That's not bad. I'm tasting like a lager in it. I'm tasting some cinnamon, some kind of... In, in a spicy way, in the way the cinnamon is. Um, I think that's the warmer upper. Whew. Taste that maple. I taste other things. I don't really taste the maple. It doesn't taste like root beer. It doesn't taste like root beer. It tastes like a good, good dark. <coughs> it's Ooh. almost if you took a stout and a lager and mixed them. Now, yeah, I don't think I would, I'd, I'd probably ever buy this again, but this is definitely a delightful treat to try out. Maybe you guys would like it at home. But I like trying different shit every yeah. time. You yeah, know? it's a very heavy beer. Hmm. 
We give them for ratings? Yeah, we're going to give it a rating. Uh, you can go ahead. This I'm, one's I'm a hard one yet. On Man. Huh. Well, you know what? I'm going to give this one. I'll give this one a four. I'm going to be generous because there's no reason to give it no low numbers. It's pretty good. Uh, I'd probably drink it again. It's a spe like you said, uh, it's something. Well, I don't know if you said this, but it's not something you want to drink a whole 30 pack of. You just want to have a couple yeah. of them. Hmm. Be done with it. And being that it's 8.75, you're only going to need a couple of them. And you'll be good to go. Have a little buzz on. Be able to get on there and talk to ladies down at the saloon or bar or whatever the you call it nowadays. I'm going to go with a four as well. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go with because of the high alcohol content. That's always an attitude. Yeah. Oh, man. You can't taste the high alcohol. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's definitely, True. that's, it's a sleeper there. It is a sleeper. Um, it's got some complexity to it I like. Yeah, it's something um, that we got to wrap our mind around a little bit more. You need a couple yeah. more of those to wrap your mind it's, it's a man's beer, too. Like, <laughs> that, that's not a woman's beer right there. That's a man's beer. It's true. It's uh, true. Like, if you're being attacked by a grizzly bear in the middle of winter, that's the kind of beer you're going to want to drink. You afterwards. chug that, you break it off a tree, stab or stab before instead that bear really and save your own life. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I probably wouldn't do that. Bears are strong. I do like it. I yeah, do like it. it's pretty good. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it's good. I read the maple. I thought it was gonna taste like maple yeah, syrup. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be real sweet. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty honestly, good. I'd buy a six pack of that to have around. Yeah, it's pretty Crack good. Crack one open every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, it's keeping your uh, refrigerator. Yeah. For special occasions. Hmm. Uh, this is kind of a Christmas beer. It's, it says it's a Christmas beer. Well, it's got winter. an elf on it. It's a winter beer. Winter beer. But yeah, it's got an elf slash weird hmm. Santa Claus looking guy. And leaves. I can still taste it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I like it. I'm happy yeah. with it. I burped and it tastes kind of like an oatmeal cookie a little bit. I wish we had a 4.5. I'd give it a 4.5. We don't have that. Yeah, we don't have that. But, yeah. All yeah, right. It's not too bad. Well, that's our seal. That's our uh, our seal of approval there. Number two down, right? All right. Well, back to the show. All right. Back at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Probably a good clip. That was pretty decent. I'm stuck here, Jim. What the hell? Let's go on. Oh, there's tape right there. Oh. Okay. I've been doing this for about 30 minutes now. I think it's probably good. Yeah. All right. What do we do? All right. So, now here's our little foundation, right? Oh, actually, you got a little thing right there. What's the X for? It's supposed to be the center, but that's obviously that's not the center. Not the center. So, we're just going to use this side. Now, you got to figure out where you want your backyard. Now, here's the front of your house, I assume. Here's the back of your house, right? Makes sense. Then here's the sides of your house with the windows. So what we want to do is we want to take that glue, we want to glue inside of here, inside these things, and put the wall together. See, this is something you get with the kids. Maybe Joey down the street, he ain't riding the head and stuff all together. Nothing against Joey. He just ain't all there together in his head. You might want to sit down and make this stuff with him. Um, you know, if you're into other, you get yourself model cars and stuff. Other things you can do, crafts and hobbies, they're way harder than this. It's kind of easy. It's for the kids. So, now, it's just like, this right here is your uh, mortar, your mortar mm. mix. And it's just like, you tell them. It smells good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Not really. But maybe with the icing on it. Um, right here... Um, it's a little bit, whoa, wow. Look that candy is. No, that's just sweet. Oh, oh. But um, right here, we're going to use some of this mortar mix. Because uh, the wall is going to go right here. So i got to put some of that mortar mix on there. And probably should put some on the floor here. So that whenever you stick it on the, on oh, the foundation, where am I putting Now, you got to figure out where you want your backyard at. Where's, where, uh, this way. That way? way? Yeah, you want the backyard. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. Put that somebody, you, know, you might want to hold that right there. All right, yeah, you want to have two people helping you. Something goes on the other side, doesn't it? Oh, you want your wall. Yeah, yeah. Wall so we'll, we'll mortar this in here to this wall. Well, I need to put them on the bottom. Oh, yeah. So it stays up. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you have two people doing it, oh, it's upside down. have the smarter one doing it. Don't let the other one mess around because you're going to mess it up. Yeah. We're just going to fill this little gap right here with a little extra mortar. Oh, yeah, it's for me. So that way, let's just try it. No, hold well, on. Oh, yeah. All right, now you got to stick it in the... I'm trying to stick it in a hole. In your locking system. Oh, we got to move it up a little bit. Move it to the table. 
Um, wow. Right standing on the sofa. That looks pretty amazing. And don't forget, if you need to, you can always use a little duct tape. Do you know who else was the carpenter? Jesus. A little baby Jesus, and this is his birthday on Christmas. <coughs> Everybody, let's celebrate that too. Come on, you just later. All right, well, we're going to get the uh, other walls stuck on here. And while we're doing that, you can watch another clip. Yep. All right, well, let's see what Bill from the other store got us in this six pack here. Now, I'm not going to look. Not looking. Yeah, She's going to reach in there and pull something out. Oh, see. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is this is a Christmas show. All right, here's what we got. Ooh, right there. Whoa, I see plaid. We got gingerbread porter. Gingerbread porter. And it kind of looks like a V right there or a check or something. I don't know. You know what? Oh, this is flying dog right here because that's the... Uh, flying dog. I've heard of that. That's the little creature. It looks like a bat. Uh, that's uh, that guy that drew the Hunter S. Thompson stuff. This is 10.0. Oh, okay. oh. They don't f*** around. Oh, whoops. They don't mess around. Mess around. <coughs> All right, uh... Now this says vintage 18A. 18A. So I don't know what vintage means, but I guess this might be vintage. Stock, baby. Might Could be. be. May have it been sitting around, may have it hadn't. From the 18th of, what's the month that starts with A? I don't know. Maybe the 1800s. Yeah. That's be. probably what it is, the 1800s. That's the oldest. So this is vintage. This has been sitting around since 1800s. See, a, there's an A right there. A is for after death. Of Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this has definitely been sitting around. It's kind of weird label to it like it almost yeah. feels feels cool doesn't feel like regular paper yeah yeah it feels something i don't know like they spent a couple extra bucks for the good yeah. stuff yeah gingerbread pour 10 percent. this is uh it doesn't really say much else. Gonna whoop your uh, as well but, um now flying dog i'm aware of flying dog there's some good beers there's a beer called gonzo it's real crazy but those are the beers that um if you go to the places and you order this, this stuff you, if you're over 21, you can uh, you can get some really high percentage well, alcohol. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. Well, let's use our bolt here and pop her open. Crack test. Oh, it's definitely cracked. It's all right. Definitely cracked. Well, that's because I slid it over the last bit. So oh. you get to hear it because I'm smart like that. Okay. All right. Pour test. Oh. Oh, my. Wow. That is dark. You should get the high industrial. I am. We'll get the uh, color sheets out here. <laughs> That's right there. These are the uh, color sheets. So you can see right there just how dark this stuff is. I mean, that is like coffee in there. Holy s***. That gave me a whole beer. Right? Well, I gave you a lot of extra. Jeez. Oh, here. Let me help you with that. Well, I don't mind. It's it smells good. It smells really good. I smell cinnamon already before I put my nose up to it. Here, wipe your table off. You're making a mess. Myself too. A little drip. No, what the hell? A porter. I'm not too sure about what porters yeah, are. All right, all right. I just realized right now this is a kids' show and we're drinking beers the whole time. Well, hey, in some countries, kids can drink beer. In Ireland, I think you can drink beer when you're like ten. True. Yeah. Yeah. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, how, how are you guys drinking eggnog and then drinking all this other stuff? How's your stomachs handling it? Well, you know. Cast iron. Pretty crazy. I don't smell any gingerbread. I smell cinnamon. I smell something. Which is in gingerbread. It smells like those candles or something that girls go, hey, smell this candle. And you smell it and it smells like weird a little bit. <sighs> it smells like body, bath, and bed and beyond. Like that place. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells like a candle that you can be smelling. I don't smell a candle at all. I just smell a well, typical... The, I'm just saying the flavored candles. Longer. Like you're smelling them candles. Is there a difference between lager and porter? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. I don't know what porter is. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll just, have to put that up somewhere. Might, yeah, I'll put that up here. Maybe it's just a darker lager. I don't know. Yeah, we don't, we're not too sure about... No, it's it's a it's a it's a more of a stout. Porters and stouts are in the same kind of okay, category. That makes sense. But I'm not too sure. It reminds me of like a root beer smell. In a way. I see what uh, you're saying. No, that's good. Alright, yeah, let's Ooh. 
I guess it's gingerbread now. I taste that gingerbread. I'm not sure if I've ever had gingerbread. It's true. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird, chemically, gingerbread kind of taste. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, it's good in a way, but then it's bad in a way, you know? It's got some hops to it. I'd say it's hoppy. Yeah, yeah, it is hoppy. I don't know how I feel about that. How do you feel about that? Well, a decent burp effect. Yeah, I don't know. It reminds me of bad coffee with hops. Yeah, I took a little taste there and it definitely tastes like hops. Tastes, yeah, it tastes more like an IPA. Than that kind of numbed my mouth right there. I don't know how to feel about that. It's okay. I mean, I would say if it's Christmas time, you guys are picking up a six pack or something. I'd probably stay away from this one. I don't know. It's, I would get it in a, yeah, yeah, variety six pack. If you can get that, definitely something to try out. But other than that, I don't think I would. Yeah, I wouldn't buy a case or a six pack. Though. Yeah, you don't want to invest that much into it. Yeah, it's probably a $20 six or eight there. You don't want that. I have had gingerbread and I know, excuse me, that I like it. But, uh, Jeez, sorry, but uh, this I don't think it tastes like gingerbread. No, but hey, here's what the hey, let, let me say this other side of it. This is a 10.0, buddy. It's gonna get you there. So being 10.0, it doesn't have a bad. Does no taste I mean, like it's a 10.0. Can't taste the alcohol. It's not bad. You really taste the hops. It's not like a four loco where you drink it. <laughs> wow, burp effects in full effect. It's not like a four loco where you drink it and you can taste taste kind of like fruit, but then it tastes like that nasty alcohol. It don't really taste like that. This is I don't know. If you're at a bar or something, they have this on tap. Maybe give it a try. But yeah, I wouldn't invest in a whole damn six pack even. Yeah, you know, maybe some buddies or something. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah, it's just it's not really doing anything for me. I See, mean, the only reason it's not getting a one is because of the alcohol content. Yeah, and the like you can't taste the alcohol, but it just it doesn't do anything for me. However, the burp effect is nice. Like I, oh, I had to be careful with that one. Drinking this, you know, I don't, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? And like a, you know, like somebody who just sips it a little bit, like a snob. No, just somebody that's like ain't cool as everybody else. Oh, and they can't be as bad. Is everybody else like yeah. starts with a peep? I can't say. It. Anyways, oh, uh, p well, yeah, like I don't even remember what I was gonna a, say. A but yeah, China, if you will. Well, you can't say that on the kids show. I will just beep it out later. Well, anyway, uh, you well, can't. I, say what was I gonna say? <laughs> You're right. Maybe we shouldn't make this a kids show. But anyways, <laughs> um, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Dang it! I don't know either. This swearing you stuff. You were just saying you couldn't sip it. Oh yeah, like uh, if you sip it. Oh yeah, because yeah, I chug it, right? I just drink that whole glass. I don't care. I bought, that's the way I live my life, right? But if you sip it and stuff, I could see kicking back and sipping it, and maybe enjoying it a little bit more. I don't know. No, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe chugging it. Just better. doesn't really. Like I said, it has no outstanding features. Well, okay. So I'm gonna give it my 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 review. I, I would give it down the line if we could do half bottles. Yeah. But we can't. So I'm gonna have to give it a. Uh, a two. I'm gonna go with you. Two. Not something I'd really ever, but but I'm not gonna give it a one because I think it's kind of cool and perplexed in its own way. Just not my thing. And the alcohol content, yeah, is a plus. That's true. That definitely gives it a point. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we're we're two men right here. Um, we don't like sissy stuff like this, but some people might yeah. stuff. So if you do, definitely check it out. Yeah, they're just don't waste your money and get some, something you already know you like. <laughs> well, that's true. All, All right. right, back to the show. Yep. Wow. I told you that was interesting right there. This is turned out to be a pretty good Christmas show. All right, well, let's get this other wall here and put up. Yeah, we said we were going to do the walls while you're watching that. Well, we're just messing around. We're messing around eating this candy. I need a back. Oh. That, I need us a front. Depends on which way. We'll figure that all out. Yeah. That's not really important. Put a little mortar mix on the bottom there. Oh yeah. Oh, it's looking good. We might have a lot of mortar mix left over when we're done too. We might. 
to eat that stuff and get all hyped up. All right, let's uh, slide her together there. Something, something like that. I'm kind of lifting up the front there. That's okay. Well, let's get the other wall on. All right, here's the other wall. That way, uh, need that mortar mix. Working on it. Just uh, like any other mortar bag. That's going to look real cool. You got to roll it up because all the mortar Woo. gets pushed to one side. That's going to look real cool on there. All right, there. Uh, this is uh, the other side. Yeah. We got some windows here. Where's the. Oh, there's the top right there, too. So. Nice. No mortar mix on the bottom there. Is any carpenter knows? Um, when you're building stuff, it's I think a little... I put it upside down. I did put it upside down. Oh, that's okay. That, that's going to go in the roof. Yeah, it's all right. Get some on the side there. But as you're building it's stuff, it might be wobbly, it might be moving, but once you get it all together and get all that mortar yeah, on there, it's going to look good. See, once what we use for that mortar is we put it on here like it's like it's ice and stuff. That's the second part of this. First, you got to build it. Second, you got to decorate it. That's the yeah, part. I think I was check that front out. If your kids are horsing around like my son Dwayne all the time, sometimes you tell them to sit. Good? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. You tell them to sit in a room. You say you go sit in that room until I'm done doing this. And then you come out when it's time to decorate it. The kids messing stuff up. Now we got some holes. In, we got some holes here. All right, we, we can pack them. Man, this thing. I think they sold us a faulty kit. To be you Get the shit over my hands. Woo! <laughs> I know, I don't want to eat it. Um, you need diabetes. I'm missing a little mortar on top here. Top that off. All right. It looks pretty good, though. Now, keep in mind, we got to use the <clears throat> bottoms. The big side goes on the bottom. Oh, you got to put mortar on there yet? Yeah, no, I'm just showing you how it clicks in there. Oh. Okay. No, no, no. The bottom doesn't. Because, like I said, That'll go right there like that. So you oh, so it. just on the edges there. Yeah. Okay. Man. Well, that one's got some on the bottom anyway. Just to... No. That's maybe some ice flew up in there. Woo! It's not sugary. That could be what happened there. Just a little bit of ice. I think this... the Here, put that one on. You need to have a napkin or something. But it goes on like When this stuff gets on your hands, because this stuff is sugary. It is. Well, um... All right. So get in there. Hold on. So it's like right a log cabin. This don't really fit. No, it fits fine. This don't really fit right. Oh, it looks great, Jim Bob. It's falling apart. Here, put that one on. Put this on. I got an idea. Hold on. The wall's falling in. The oh, wall's falling Jesus. in. Help I, me. I can't. It don't look all right. The wall's falling in. I got an idea. We just got to get this in place here. The whole house is going to fall in on itself. It is. That's not looking too bad right there. We gotta fix this wall right here. Okay, um, give me a, do me a saw here. They sold in a little bit. There they sold us a faulty kit. Here we go. I knew it, and I seen it. I said that kit's faulty. Oh, that back wall. <laughs> oh man. Here, a little tape. Right? Yeah, a little tape. Tape room tape always works. Is it okay. working? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's all falling in. Is this Jim Bob? What are you doing? I'm not doing nothing. I'm trying to. We're going to get to a clip. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it's time for uh, one of my favorite parts of Christmas here. Oh, yeah. This is the part where we exchange gifts. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got Jim Bob a gift. I got you a gift, too. You did? I'm pretty oh, excited about this. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. He says, yeah. got a big gift. All right, well. Uh, you want me to go first? Yeah, give me my gift. All right. You know what? Well, I've been waiting for this. There you go. Can't go wrong with shells. Hey, big gifts come in small packages. Wait till you see what's inside of there. Um, it's open her up. Why is it like soggy right there? Oh, well, look at look at this thing. The box is falling apart. Well, it's on it doesn't porch. exactly feel like it's a full box. Well, it's it's you know something. It's a thought that counts during this time of season. Just open it. Maybe there's something in there for you. Yeah, maybe there's something in there. It's him, man. I mean. Look at that. It's wet, Jim Bob. Why is it wet? Well, it's still working stuff. But hold on. It's not even a full box whoa, of whoa, ammo, wait, Jim wait, Bob. Look in there. I think you're missing something. It's wet. I think you're missing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are just kind of like the icing on the cake. Look in there. Wait, you see that? That's what friends are for, right there. No, what's that? Where's that to? Tractor supply gift card. Son of a b you Jim know Bob. how much that's for? I know, it's not written on here. $1,200. 
<laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, Jimbo. I've been saving up. Yeah, you definitely want a little. Definitely don't try to spend $1,200 with that thing, but there's oh, definitely $1,200 on there. Commercial time, ready? Tractor Supply. That's where you go and get all your good tractor supplies. You can't even spend $1,200 there. You can get yourself some bird food. You can get yourself some dishwashing liquid. No, you can't. You can get dog food. You can get some uh, cattle supplies. But tractor supply. Yeah. That's where all the real cowboys shop. Exactly. All right. Yeehaw. All right. Well, uh, that was nice of you, Jim. Yeah, well, $12,000 is a the, lot of money. Can I, I hope. keep the bullets, too? Well, no, I want those back. It was just kind of like this. No, that was a joke gift. Well, you can have them. I'm just kidding. Oh, thanks, Jim. Well, that's... You can. Um, all right, so. Well, why is the box wet? Well, here, let me see it. Let me see. Oh, well. Let's just forget about that. All right, uh, but you better watch that card don't get away. All right, Put so uh, wall right now, so don't lose. Yeah, it. like I said, don't go so there and spend a so lot. He don't steal it. All right, so uh, what, all right, so twelve thousand, twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. I hope that your gift's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of stripping I had to do to. All right, here's Jim Ball's gift. Holy sh! It's like a brick. Twelve hundred dollars. How am I supposed to beat that? Is it drugs? No. Oh man. I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, yeah. I want you to know I wrapped it myself. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's nice. I'm already ahead of it. Oh, that's super sharp knife. Now, where'd you get that knife? Oh, knife. oh I got that from, from uh, Psycho Michael. Psycho, Psycho Michael, Michael made Michael. this for me. Psycho Michael Knives. It's pretty nice. I don't think that's the name of it. What's he going to name the shop? I have no idea. He hasn't finished the shop yet, but he's getting He's trying to get his supplies built up and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, as soon as uh, he gets the shop set up, we will definitely be pimping it. Uh, and there'll be knives for everybody. Knives for everyone. All right, so let's see what this gift is. Let's see what's inside I'm there. Close my eyes. All right, here's what I do. Close my eyes. Stick my. Then I smell my hand just to make sure nothing bad's going on. All right, it's all good. That's just weird. Wow! I think I know what these oh, are. Is that generic? Wow! Oh, I think I know what these are. You know what those are? These are hand grips for a mother gun and hey guess what I don't leave home without this mother now that's the high point right there now hold on here now there's more stuff but you know you look at this thing it looks like what does it look like um, it looks like a big 1980s star sci-fi movie gun exactly and you don't want it to look like that you want it to look cool now look at these these are genuine snake skin I think was in the making of these those are red boa Oh, red boa. Wow. My favorite oh, boa. Cool looking. Those are cool as What's such a Oh, they got to look right good on, on there. there. Wow, it's going to look cool. Well, there's more in there. What oh, there is. There? All right, what we got here? We got us a high point accessory ring. All right, this has a price on it. You don't need that. Yeah, because it better be $12,000. A hundred. All right, well, I'm just kidding. There's not a lot of money on there. We'll put the price in the link to get this. Get down in the scrippy. Mm. All right, so the scrippy there description. So I got that. Then I got this thing. It's gonna go right here. That's right. What could go on there? Maybe well, a flashlight. Could so a flashlight could go on there if you wanted one. But that's not what you got. Wow! It is wow. a wow. <laughs> it is a pistol laser. You got I'm a laser. I'm excited. Thank you very much. This is real cool. Let's what? check this out. I've I've wanted a laser on my gun. Back Since in the day, day one. if you guys seen the video, we got a free laser point system thing from Cheaper Than Dirt. That's right. The and Viridian needless, CLR5. Needless to say, it didn't fit my gun, so. Oh, man, now I got all the attachments and everything. Yeah, and I'm not sure Batteries. how that actually attaches. I'm not sure if you even needed this piece. Well, we're going to figure that out. Well, let's get it figured out. All right. Well. Well, I gotta say thank you, Clint. Oh, hockey high five. Hockey high five. I really appreciate that. Well, let's get the uh, get the old Leatherman out here. You can link in the description and get yourself one of these sons of bitches. Oh, that's a nice knife. Didn't you get that last Christmas? Um, I think. What did I get this for? for Christmas, for birthday, something. Something like that. All right, let's get this. Uh, oh yeah, let's, let's let's get this handle off here. Let's get this going. All right. No. Quick and easy. See, that's all there is. One screw. This has little springs inside here. Oh, man. Keep that in mind because you're probably going to need them. No, which one is it? This one. Oh, no. Comes with the sprayers already on there. Now, I have to say that I've been wanting to upgrade this gun for a long Put time. Put the bottom in first. 
not only do I want to do these things to it, but we've been talking about possibly. Do you want to tell them? Um, no, go ahead. I just didn't know that this day would be come today. We are going to turn this son of a into something completely different. We're going to turn it into an AK-47. I said it. I'm just lying. We're going to actually take, sure. take the slide off and we're going to chrome out that slide. Maybe not chrome out, but we're going to polish it. Where'd that come from? Oh, that came from here. I oh, that, there. see, you're supposed to take your gun apart and stuff. I never do. I figure I'll never be able to get it back together. Mm, that grip don't want to get out in there. Oh, son of a Don't break it. Oh, I don't care. It's just... Oh, you know, yeah, I think uh, there we go. the paint and stuff just needs a little, uh, as you can see, it wasn't cut up the mold. It needs a little persuasion. Exact. But yeah, these are pretty uh, pretty nice. Oh, there it is with one on it. Look at that. Do you want to see it? Oh, yeah. No. I do. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, Close your eyes. All right. Oh, man, that looks pretty sharp that right there. That looks pretty cold right there. That looks pretty sure cold blooded. Oh, yeah. keep these ones. We might even find a way to customize the original ones. Look at that. Wow. We can make some art pieces out of these, put them on eBay. I got no fingernails. I can't get a hold of them. Yeah, put them in there. Put them right in there. Well, there we go. Gotta figure out this laser sight. What do I always do this thing? Well, let's pop that up. All right, this side. Put this down in. Yeah, that one looks like uh, has, it came out of the mold with a little piece of these trimmed off. Yeah, maybe it did. Nah, I don't, I'm not good at reading directions, so I just kind of play with this stuff until it's like a puzzle. I can't. It takes a little finagling. Can't sit on myself enough to read this. Little finagling. All right, well, let me go over some of these. Grips uh, on it. Safety works. Looks pretty amazing. Pop it. That works. Bam, right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, it feels pretty nice, cool. too. If you feel uh, these old ones. Put that away. They're real smooth. Two oh. screws. I mean, nice and That's nice. Hey, what'd Simple you say? Hell. What'd you say? Calm down, Jimbo. Calm I down. know, I'm just, I'm just. And actually, uh, let me see that clip. Magazine. Magazine. I read magazines. I clip my money together. I clip them into my gun. Look at that. That don't look too bad there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like that, that, in my opinion, is a downfall of this gun right here is you got this extra. But it looks a whole lot better with the... Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. It doesn't things. look like a, just a giant black block now. What? Jimbo. So what? Like, uh, like, my, like my hero Stone Cold... Steve Austin, a rattlesnake. I got rattlesnake skin or red boa. On my gun now. Pretty amazing. Now, that's the thing. Being that how it is, what we want to do with this is we want to turn this into an amazing show where we show you how you take an ugly ass gun like this was and turn it into an amazing gun that'll blow the socks off of people at the gun range. And uh, basically, what we're going to do is new hand grip, laser sight, and chrome this mother out if it goes well mm. keep that black right there and it, this mother is heavy Clint picked it up hadn't picked it up in a while and it was like holy yeah shit. I was surprised you got that little dinky one see that okay, I gotta figure out how this thing goes on there should fit in there like that maybe I don't know what the hell that oh is. yeah this is for a uh, I don't think you need this because it's for a round one Here's all types of parts. Here, uh, the instructions. You need to see the instructions. Look, stop. Yeah, the instructions might help. Read all that. Stop. Oh, it says right on the front there. Stop. Yeah, stop. Um, let's see. Uh, um, I'm real tired. Well, That's with all this too. Well, hmm. I don't understand instructions. I know, that's what I was saying. Left side, right side. There's bad batteries. 
There's all types of stuff. Well, that's how it's supposed to go in there. You keep that stuff over there out the way. Oh wow, it even says high point right there on the grip. Oh, there's a bunch of small parts here, Jim Bob. This ain't good. Oh yes, yeah. small We're parts are not good. We are gonna lose them. So, isn't that weird? Now, this is probably isn't a high excitement episode, but we both have been drinking the eggnog. Uh, I don't even know what the things are. Little plugs. So, Plug her up. I don't know what that is. Got a screw right there. Little. We got some batteries. Danger sticker. Don't need that. All right. Oh, um, danger sticker. That's cool. I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Laser radiation. Here. Avoid direct eye contact. That's why you don't do that. There's radiation in there. I'm thinking this here is for. Um, I think it's supposed to come apart. Yeah, it looks like it. It, lo it looks like it. that one goes on. But I think that's what's holding. Is one it. stick better or something? I don't understand how it works. Well, I think it's, there's two different things here. One for each uh, mountain system. There's no. Words tell me what to do. Yeah, the laser guts go in here, but there's no words saying it says read the instructions completely before stalling your laser. Failure to do so will result in damage to your laser or firearm, and then there's no instructions. Swap master module and buttons between different laser bodies. Working on it, and then you put three batteries in that little hole. I just don't like the idea. But why do you gotta switch it out though? Because this is for a different setup. Oh, okay. This is for this one. That's oh, for I this see. Setup it's got the, the rail. rail. They don't say to do nothing. Who can make this thing? Laser light, guys. You gotta make better instructions. You can't tell us we're gonna ruin the gun and the laser and the firearm and everything, and then not give us instructions. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it comes apart too well. But you get new stuff and then it takes 10 yeah. hours to get it together. Look, didn't nobody say we was smart? Yep. Oh, there it is. So I wonder if you can use this. That's the laser right there. Could you use that for anything? Um, yeah, if you had like something with an AR, you wanted to mount a flashlight on it. Bam, right there. Anybody oh, yeah. wants to buy this. I was going to send that back, but I'll probably just keep it. Well, or if anybody wants to buy it, 100 bucks. Uh, wow, so I'm already trying to sell my birthday presents. <laughs> Well, Christmas presents, you know. I'm kind of like Jesus, born around the same time. That's about it, though. This is also an ambidextrous one, which I was curious about, which means you can use either left or right hand. I'm ambidextrous in a lot of things I do. With myself. <laughs> With myself. Oh, jeez. So this uh, fits a 9mm, a 380 ACP, a 40 SMW, which this is, a 45 ACP. Gun sight and built in laser trainer, which I don't know what that means. Three modes consistent, pulse, and training mode. What the hell is training mode? I don't know. Aim and dexterous activation and shut off. Quick and easy installation. Wow. This is my quick and easy. You got here, you got us here a three year warranty. That's just buying it right out of the store right there. All this stuff's high point. You bought this off the high point site. That's it. That Wow, High Point has a lifetime warranty probably on all their Probably. Which you don't want to be throwing that thing around. You gotta be careful with your gun. You gotta respect it. Tree batteries. Tree. Count them. Yeah, I think only two. One, Wait, is it three? Two, Say three. Tree. Yeah, it does. Oh. Somewhere right here. Three times nine. Yeah, three and then that capper. Bam! And we got a couple batteries left over in case you got a watch or something. Oh no, you got three more in case that goes dead. All right, well, here's what happened. Yeah. It turns out that whenever you switch these cases here, this is for a different style pistol, to the one that fits that high point there, that specific model, that there's these little plugs here that go on the inside. Now, it's gonna be real hard to see, but there's a big hole here, and that plug sits down inside there like that. Now that allows you to have the ambidextrous button on both sides. Pretty much. So what it is, is the button goes on there, 
or the there's a little nipple on there and then this here you push it it pushes a nipple and it pushes the on button on the laser unit itself now the problem we had was the nipple well once we put it together oh yeah Ugh. once we put it together yeah, it did sound a little bad I'm gonna have to wipe after that one once we put it all together this housing here not this one the one that's on there currently but this housing was so tight that the button wouldn't push it was tight up against the button on the laser itself. almost as if they made it wrong yeah that's kind of what it seemed like so what we had to do is they had to go in and actually file that nipple down a little bit not the whole way because you needed to activate the, the the button on there you want a little bit of nipple a little bit of nipple not much so we went in we filed that down put it all back together and it works flawless yep this was like a millimeter too long literally and also this sounds like oh this just happened quickly it took us a long time to while. get to this point yeah because we had to figure out exactly what the problem was so look at this right here already right what'd you say what'd you say you can't even get the laser on the camera Jim. well okay. i'm blind because i have my glasses on so you better yes. hope I, I don't see you trying to sneak into my house when he doesn't have his glasses on exactly because mom all right well anyways that's a little harsh well i'm just saying you know she sneaks around so this thing went from what do you call that uh what what's that saying they say uh basic boring basic basic to ratchet bat, to ratchet bad yeah something like that something like that uh pretty freaking amazing cool little laser i wasn't too sure but once uh clint figured out to file that some down yeah it worked out fine yep nice little grip on there well there's one more thing we're gonna do to it yep so let's head over to the garage let's do it all right all right all right now the first thing we got to do is we got to get this little pin right here out and that's going to require being punched out. This here is a Winchester punch kit. Bam! Just like that. Comes with a little hammer. Bam! Like say, it comes with all these different size punches and stuff. Bam! bam, 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 bam. Well, it's a punch kit. Jim Bob's into it. Now we're going to try this 330 seconds here. This should be about the size we need. He's pretty good at adding this stuff up. Yeah. It's important to take two pieces of wood here. Set them down because you need a base. That way your pin can fall out. That's right. So, get this tapped out here. All right. See how easy this is. Now, I'm guessing this pin has never been taken out. Now, people at home, make sure when you're at this point and you're done messing around with, uh, you have the bullets out of the chamber and out of the, out of the magazine and out of the gun. You don't want to accidentally have it go off. Right, there's that pin. Mm, it's still not out. Now see, if you have a field dressing kit or something, you're out in the field, you're going to want to have a punch kit and maybe a little hammer so you can get this little SOB out of there. That thing has definitely never been out of this gun before. Nope, he's wrong. I take this thing apart uh, with my eyes closed, blindfolded, upside down, hanging by my feet, just like in the movies. Pull that pin out. See? It's easy as that. There we go. So now it's out. Set that right. in there so we don't lose it. Now you want to lay out your pieces too. I'm trying to explain it as you do it. By all means, good. You want to lay out your pieces so you know where things go. You don't want to lose stuff. You don't want shit falling on the floor. You want to have things kind of in order. That's right. And memorize how you put it, took it apart so you can put it back together. We're going to go ahead and pop this laser off just because we want to keep it safe. We that don't want anything to happen. That's pretty nice. So now this, to get it off, slide it back, and you lift up the back, and let it go forward. Keep your finger in the back here, because there's a spring inside. You don't want that thing to pop out of there. That's it. Bam. That simple. Spring here, make sure you don't lose that. We're going to set that to the side, because we don't really need any more of it. Now this here, the underside, we've got this little pin right here we're going to pull out. That little right there. And then we got another spring in here. It's going to go there, and your firing pin, which I'll we'll have to use something to push that out the way. There it goes. It's a couple pieces there, just like that. I remember, I wasn't paying attention at all, so remember where that stuff goes. That's it. 
Right. Yeah, as you can see, it actually don't look too bad in there. I mean, it's, it's a little dirty, but it don't look too bad. All right, now what, one other thing I think you want to do is you want to take that top, uh, the top strip off. Yeah, we got to take this piece here. We want to take the rear side off. We want to keep and that hopefully black. that main side. I don't know if that comes off or not. I think just the back comes off. But we need a Allen wrench for that, and I ain't got one with me. Now the grab. I don't know where the Allen wrenches are. Wow, right there, as you can see, that pretty nice. That's what we're going to be sanding down. Mm, that looks like it's too big. Yeah, too big. Oh, See that? He's real good at that. He's got a whole knife right there full. Swiss knife. Swiss yeah. Army knife full of them things. You know what else needs is another. What do we have? Flathead screwdriver. Flathead screwdriver. Little wee one. Um, probably the same George is sticking out, Jim Bob. See a little wee flat one in there? Nope. Jim Bob don't know what he's doing. Hold on. I don't know where anything is. Thank God he's here, because none of this stuff will be getting done. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know where any of the tools are. Well, this here, Jim Bob, what this does is raises your sack. Oh, okay. So you can adjust your sack. Well, I'm not allowed to use half these tools anyways. Yeah, see a little spring? Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, make sure you don't lose any of that Springs stuff. everywhere. There's a lot of pieces of this. Alright, nice. Now other pieces that need to come off of here. Uh, that's your shell ejector right there. Now, he's looking to see if there's any more pieces. Because we want to strip this thing clean of everything. Because we're going to be doing sanding. We don't want anything in there that doesn't need to be in there. Maybe get some metal shards in there or something. I don't know. One thing we're going to do is right in here... There's uh, this right here is a little rough. Oh, yeah. We're going to clean that up right there just so there's nothing. Uh, Let me show that, that to the Oh, it's, it's in there. Oh. There's uh, everything else seems to be pretty smooth. It's a little rough. See, we're fixing this gun up as we do this, too. But it's, everything seems to be pretty, uh, pretty all right with it. So, well, you want to tell what you want to do? Well, uh, as far as the whole thing. Yeah, what you want to. All right. How you want to change it? Well, what we're going to do is we we're talking about it, and we're going to keep this black stripe right here, right? Which is the opposite of what most people do. And then what we're going to do also is we're going to sand all this top down and uh, really haven't figured out what we're going to do here yet. The ridges. Yeah, the ridges. But And then all this, uh, maybe that, unless we can keep it. But I think all this stuff might be... Uh, all the red, you're going to change to green. It's going to be green, and inside, the, we're going to do the letter in, inside with green. I've seen some video on it. Hopefully it works out. Well, only one thing left to do. Let's get to the sand. Well, we got taper. Okay, well, grab the tape. Let's tape. Uh, where do you put it? Is it down there? Yeah, it's down there. Now, what we're doing here is masking off what we don't want to sand. Which is the uh, little... Which, do I do the edge? Do I do the... That's probably the best way See, to do I it. See, I suck at this stuff. Well, you definitely can't see... Here, let me, let me do this for you, Jim. The fact now, that Jim Bob can't see... We don't know what the F we're doing. Oh, yeah, that's... We don't know what we're doing. We're trying this out. We're hoping this tape even works. This whole thing might be end up become chrome, silver, whatever. Oh, use the old uh, cutter up technique. Mm. Not a bad idea. Actually, no, that tape does not stick to there. Oh. So, this tape does not stick to the gun. Well, Don't worry. We black got... tape isn't going to stick. I don't know. It's a little cold. Let's see if some electrical tape will work. Electrical tape seems to be sticking. All right, there we go. It bonds to the metal. 
it's not just good for wires. So now we're gonna get a razor blade. It's not just good for wires or uh, wrapping up pans as um, handcuffs. Yeah, we gotta this guy right here. Edge. He is a regular uh, figure it outer. Wow, look at that. You need your car pinstripe? I uh, probably wouldn't call it. He's probably got sh other shit to do. That's right. Now, see, we wanna, we're trying to make sure the ridges. Is that going to. Should not interfere with the ridges. But is it going to sand the top? Oh, he took care of that. Yeah, took care of it. All right. Wow. You don't want the black to go. You want it to go the whole way across? No, we could still do that. I think. We could still do that. I don't know what that is doing. Now, people at home, this is this is all fun and games. What what about what's about to happen is pure excitement entertainment and sanity and that's uh called sand and that's what we're preparing for this is the prep for it see we're going for the whole strap the whole way around now i'm hoping that that works out good i'm not 100 percent sure if that's going to look cool but actually i think it's going to look cooler than a big black brick which, which is what it is is we all know the high point actually is. now you guys hey while he's doing this, you guys can go back, uh, definitely keep on this video, but you guys can search High Point. We did a couple, we did a video on this one, uh, comparing it to another gun. We did the uh, High Point Carbide. Carbine. Carbine. That's a polymer, a lot of polymer <laughs> to make it into that. All right, now that we got that all masked off, which you can't even really see, but there's tape on there. The whole line going through. The whole line. To, to you, the way it's taped off, especially the front and the back, do you think that looks good? Do you think that's going to look good? Well, you think it'll... Here's the thing. If it doesn't, we take the tape off and polish the whole thing. Call it a day. It's true. I mean... I, mean, I think that's going to end up working. I think so, too. Because remember, there's... Nothing behind some of that. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. And that really right there is just your guide, so you're not scraping up against the stuff you want to keep black. That's right. All right. Well, but I mean, hey, we could always take, once it's done, mask off the rest of it and just paint that. That's true. It's always an option. Now, one thing I'm we'll thinking figure it out. real quick is uh, fingernail polish, because that's what we're going to use for these uh, colors, the green. Mm -hmm. So definitely for that, but this... For the set, you almost want to keep that the same color. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Is that so? Maybe we should take that off. But anyways, we're we're pretty much there. Yeah, we can figure that out once we get there. Very true. All right, time to get to work. Yep. All right. Well, I've been sanding it for a little while, and uh, as you can see, I got down to the metal on here. Uh, we're using sixty grit. 60 grit sandpaper to start off with. You can see it's a little uh, scraped up and stuff, which we're going to polish that down. Uh, this is taking a lot of elbow grease. My damn hand's cramping up. But uh, we're going to get her done. We're going to, I guess, see what we're going to do about these as we come along. But, uh, yeah, uh, we'll be back whenever uh, we get further. Well, I've been sanding this for about uh, maybe 20 minutes, I'd say. So let's get on with this. Let's keep saying it.
All right, wow. It has taken a long while, probably a couple hours or something. I really don't know. I lost time. Clint has been up in the woods hunting. Um, I've been working on this. I went over it with the 60 grit uh, sandpaper. This is what we have. Pretty nice. Pretty amazing looking. Now, as you can see, the black tape is still around, still around the whole thing to protect it as we are uh, polishing it. Now, as you can see also, I kept on, I decided to keep me this, uh, the black inside of there. I think it looks pretty cool, if you ask me. So, what we're going to do is, we've got a whole plethora of different sandpapers um, with the grits going higher, which means that they're going smaller in grit, and this is going to, it's going to eventually uh, give it a great shine. So right now, uh, uh, like I said, we use 60 grit. Now we're stepping down to 120 grit, and we are going or stepping up, or however you say it, and we are going to sand this down. I'll be right back with the results. It. Watch me do it. All right, this uh, 120 grit sandpaper. It's a uh, ah that hurt. Oh damn it. That hurt. Anyways, uh, this 120 uh, sandpaper grit, it's kind of, I think it's a little bit too much grit. So we're going to step her down. I gave her a once over with it. That's 120. Now, uh, next one, we are going to go to 220 right here. 220 grit. Uh, we're going to give her a quick sander down. All right. All right. Don't know. If I'm supposed to be going up, I don't know what I'm doing right now. But we're going to go to the 500 grit. It just feels like I'm scratching this shit up. So hopefully this 500 grit will take us to where we need to be. 500. All right. Now, this, uh, what is it? 500 grit really took it from uh, being scratched up to really smoothing that shit out. Um, definitely still more scratched up and stuff, but definitely smoothed out. Feels a lot better. You can really tell as I was doing it. Um, all right, so now we are going to go to this little Brillo pad. I don't know exactly what this is, but uh, let's hit up. With, let's hit it up. And go over it one time with this Brillo pad. Now, see, this is one of those deals where. It's going to look as nice as the time you put into it. You know, the more time you put into it, the better it's going to look is what I'm trying to say. All right, so we went over it um, with all this stuff. Looks pretty nice. Actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, probably put a little more work into it with this thing. Uh, definitely these two help bring it together. We got more in store, but okay, so one thing I wanted to say was, as you can see, right here, we want to switch that up. That's still orange, so I think I want to go in there, and I really want to uh, use the fine grit, or not the fine grit, the crazy hardcore grit. I want to get in there, I want to kind of get that paint out of there, because we're going to be putting our own little paint in that safety spot. There we go. There's a little uh, little insert right there. Pull that little insert. We are gonna, as you can see right there. Uh, might want to save that insert, but right there we're gonna fill that up with the same stuff that we uh, put inside of the uh, lettering. All right. Well, this is looking pretty good. Let me clean up this spot right here. All right. Well, anyways, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this into it and uh we'll be back and i'll show you how it is all right all right now that uh got all the hard work done here and i got a big blister on my finger jim bob's hurting himself we're gonna take this here now we got this uh chicago electric power tools aluminum polishing kit looks pretty legit now it's the uh, it does do more than aluminum but it comes with uh three blocks of um What's this shit stuff called? Uh, uh, polished wax. compound wax stuff. The What's white that one, one for? The white one is for like precious metals like gold and uh, 
uh, silver, like soft metals like that. Yeah. We're gonna mess with we'll that. We'll probably use that a lot of Yeah, on our jewelry. Time. On our yeah. jewelry that we wear lots of. Uh, the black one is the emery one, which is for taking away like all the big scratches. Well, I don't say big scratches, but little scratches yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. And then this red one, that's the party fire. It makes it pretty. Woo. Then after that, we're gonna take it and we're gonna use some like car wax on it. Wow, oh wow. Just to add a little protection and make it look shiny. It's pretty all cool. right. Alright, so let's load up the uh, thing here. Step one down. Well, take it over to the buffing wheel and see if make it, see if we can bring this thing to life. Is that you're gonna be using this? Not yet. Oh, I'll take this off yet. first. Well, that ain't good. Whoa. Yep, yeah, gotta tighten her down. Well, this is the realness of what happens. You go to do the buffing wheel and you have to take the sides off. See, that that's, shouldn't have that kind of slack in it. Yeah, it's got some weeble wobble to it. I got an idea to fix that. Oh, Put another washer in there. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, let's wash her up. Oh, that's taking that side off now. Is that it? There we go. Alright, we'll be back with a new washer. Alright, as far as we know, this whole thing can blow up in our faces. Well, we got safety glasses now. True. As I was worrying about that bolt flying and it hit me in the face. Well, that one there is loosened up. All right, we'll be back. Well, find out that this hard block wax is not going to come off with the buffing wheel. Yeah. So we tried to use a different one of these thingies, and it didn't work so well either. So back to using good old elbow grease. And we can see that it is. And elbow yeah. grease for you millennials that don't know what that is, it means hard work. doing stuff the hard way. Exactly. So yeah, you can see it shining. You can oh, yeah, it's already shining. coming alive. It's just rubbing this shit out with that thing. Yeah. Hard work. And I think we might even have to do another uh, another coat with the scratch remover stuff. Yeah. But so you still see some scratches. Yeah, but it's definitely doing the trick. Maybe put on a lighter coat this time. Maybe yeah. it's in spots. Well, let's get back to it. See what happens.
right, well, we moved back here into the studio. Yep. Because it's getting a little cold in the garage. Yeah, it is. Plus, it is. we got a little bit better lighting. We yeah. got another camera. We got just got things set up better to show you what we're gonna do because there's some detail work going on. Exactly, this is the final touch to this gun right here. And uh, you guys might be like, well, what is it? What is it? You guys painting your fingernails or something? We got some fingernail polish here. We're not doing that. What we're doing is the lettering in here, as you guys can see, um, we're gonna turn that green. Oh. And highlight oh, oh. it. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Nothing, Jim Bob. Um, oh. Nothing. Awkward. All right, well, all right. all right, let's get back into this. Yeah, you know, we need to have to talk later. All right, so uh, you think you've been hanging out with Dwayne a little bit too much. All right. Let's just do it again. So now, the lettering right here, as you can see, um, this lettering right here, we're going to get in there with this fingernail polish. This is a little trick, and we're going to give it a uh, highlighting and all that stuff, or whatever you call it. Okay. Fill it in. All right. Now, this is a little uh, thing I watched on the intro web. All right, now, they took alcohol, and they rubbed it in here to clean it out. We don't have that. I looked around. We don't have it. We don't have it? I don't know what the happened to it. But we don't have it. How do we not have alcohol? So what we're going to do. Rub it alcohol? Yeah, we're just going to go in and we're going to do it. Now, here's how you do this. You take this right here. This is. I know we have rub it alcohol. No, we don't. You sure? You want me? You yeah, yeah, I don't okay. want it. All right, so you take your fingernail polish. Now, it said in this video, right? His wife told him, and I believe this guy, that you shouldn't shake up this stuff because it'll get bubbles in it and then it won't work right. Kind of makes sense. All right, so we want to take this and we want to, what do you call that? Like, we want to put it on there. Jimbo, you might want to move your hat to the other camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. So we just want to cover all this right with this fingernail polish. For this fingernail polish. Now, don't ask us why we have this fingernail polish. Got this off of Clint back in his golf days. All right. Oh, I wasn't into that stuff. So, what? Uh, now, a little bit of the top of these letters is messed up, but. Jim Bob, I think your hat's still in the way. Oh, well, it's hard to do this. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me get my my spectacles out. There you, that might help you. I can't see nothing. All right, so the whole point is you want to try to get it down in the crevices. Get it in there. Get it in those crevices. Oh, I just got it on the gun, but you can clean that up. up right off. Clean that up later. Get it down in them crevices. Okay. Now, and the thing is, you might want to do a couple coats of this. Um, you know, or do this a couple times is what I mean, not a couple coats. And I don't know if you so much want high point to be, uh, you know, so people can see that. Well, why not? I mean, you can see. Well, I mean, if you're not proud of having a high, high point gun, you know, some well, people. Yeah. I don't mind, but some people might. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, there's haters out there. The high points. I would want to emphasize it because that doesn't look like a high point. Like this, this is true. what you can do That's with a high point. That's a good point right there. All right, so right there, we filled in our things. Now this guy said, <laughs> "I'm going off of this guy." Now this guy said, "Wait about 45 minutes." We don't have 45 minutes. But we're going to wait a little while, and I guess we'll be back. Does that look okay to you? I mean, you got that a better is. eye than me. I got two better eyes. You do have two better eyes than me. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing. All right, now... Uh, oh, don't forget your little... Oh, yeah, we're going to try to get this little... I was going to bring a brush, but then I forgot all about it. I pulled out the little, uh, the little thing for my safety, but I think if I... He pulled out. Put a little dab right there. I'll be oh, able that to looks fine. clean it up. Looks fine just like that. There, there. Fill her up. All right. All right, well, hopefully this works out. I don't know. We're going to let her sit. We're going to let her dry. And we'll be right back. Right? All right. All right. About three hours later, damn, yeah, it's it all finally dry. Took a while to dry. So now right here we have fingernail polish remover. Uh, this is non acetone. Now, non -acetone. why don't you acetone? Why don't you want acetone? Because it'll f up your. I mean, it'll mess up your uh, polymer. Polymer. And you don't want to mess up your polymer because that's the whole point of this. You want your polymer to look good. Yeah, and we should also note that we actually did put a couple more coats of green on there. It's true. Just to make sure we got in all the creasing crevices. Very true. And this little uh, safety, since it's a hole and stuff, kind of uh, sunk down in, so we had to put a little more in there. You know. All right, so we're gonna try this out. See how good this works. 
don't have the paper towels to go. Oh, so there. Here I want some paper towels just to bury you. Now I showed, dab it up. You just rub across here and uh, this comes off. But it ain't coming off too easy. So we're gonna use a paper towel. So well I would just dab it. I would do a dabbing technique. A dab See the, the guy was rubbing. Oh maybe you should rub it. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to Oh, it's slowly, it's slowly coming off. That's a little bit easier. Oh, yeah, it's coming off. Might need a little bit more grip to it, like the paper towel. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the theory of this is all these holes and crevices are going to be filled up when the actual top... Oh, it's looking good. Yes, yeah, looks like it's going to work out. Oh, yeah. Let's it's coming enough. together. It's coming together. Oh, wow, really sticks out. You can do this off do all your guns. They could. If you wanted to. Now, I was worried that this green was going to look real tacky and stuff. It doesn't look tacky at all. Now, one thing I would make sure is you don't get too much. You don't want any of that nail polish remover laying inside there. Inside where? Because you don't want it to break down the nail polish that's actually inside the green. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to we'll wipe this down good once we get her. Get her all cleaned up here. Now there's definitely some scratches and stuff, so it's not a perfect thing. It's not perfect, but I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that the way it's supposed to look? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, it's looking pretty cool though. This is my job. I'm the paper towel man today. Oh, I'm starting to. All right, see. Starting to go too far. Starting to go too far starting to go too far so that just goes to show be easy with the guys at home now don't worry i'll go through there and i'll fix that up and stuff um i'm not gonna waste your time with it but we're gonna try to get this safety right here which should come off a little easier because the excess is on metal and not the polymer so it should not stick to the metal as well as it does the there. polymer bam we're good good all right so as you guys can see at home we have uh you know, looks pretty good. Let me put on my spectacles here. Cool. So they can see anything. All right, so yeah, it looks pretty good. It went a little too overboard right there. We're going to hit that up. But as you can see, this thing the looks... The technique does work. And it looks pretty amazing. Hey, let me see that. Not too bad. Yeah, if I just wanted to rub a little too hard on that one spot. Hey, not too bad. I like the safety being green. Yeah, now it's looks... Because now it's like, I'm ready to kill mother... Oh, yeah. Now I'm ready not to. Yeah, yeah just be easy. Like still to. dry. You know? But uh, everybody oh, at home... not on the other side, so it's just yeah, that Yeah, just that. So everybody at home, if you guys want to do this, use these techniques, do it. It'll make your guns uh, brand new looking. Pat, 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 pat. I like it. All right, well, like there it. we go. That has been the gun. That is the gun. Well, thank you for this birthday gift. You're welcome, And sir. this uh, Christmas gift. I appreciate that. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Did you get anything yet with your farm and tractor? Well, you haven't left, so. Well, I did find out that um, I called in whenever you were taking a shit of poop. And uh, yeah. found out that there's not $1,200 on her. Oh, well, hey, let's get going. Let's go back to the show. How about that? All right, now let's reach into this magical bag and see what Bill has provided for us. Wow, this is sack of goodies. I think yeah. I did it last time. We do it. Let's go for it. Jesus, Jim. Oh, just joking. You didn't actually touch me. <laughs> Bam! Oh, what do we got there? Right Wait, there it wow, is. Wow, white Christmas. Wow, it's going to be a white Christmas. That sounds racist. That does sound kind of racist. We don't mean it nothing like that by it. Um, but I don't know if Oh, white Christmas know. is like snow. It's, it's yeah. a snowy ground. Oh, okay. Out there is it's okay. Snow this yeah, year. it does. Okay, it doesn't mean I, I'm not. Gonna, yeah, yeah. Don't I mean like I don't want to even talk about that. All right, this is made by Samuel Adams. Let's get away from the name. Uh, Hazy Crisp and Bright, um, brewed and bottled by the Boston Beer Company. That's uh, Sam Adams, in Boston. There, text you right outside of the city. Yeah. Um, for brewery fresh taste, enjoy before the month notched. The month notched is April, so we got oh, some yeah. time to drink this. Oh yeah. What's we're not wasting any time. We're drinking now. Oh yeah, Samuel Adams. Shut the up, up Louie. Well, he made a good point. Samuel Adams is usually pretty good. Oh, you got the opener. Oh yeah. Samuel Adams is usually room. pretty good. Everyone you get, uh, their uh, Oktoberfest. I don't really like that. But other than that, I like other than everything's good. Got our 50 cal bottle opener here. Let's crack her open. Crack test. Oh yeah. Whoops. 
that was my <laughs> fault, Terry. It didn't come off. Cause well, it sound, you know, there wasn't a lot going on with that, but that doesn't mean a, it's not always a bad thing. All right, well, see the pork test. Oh, she's a light one. Oh, yeah. She's a light one. She's blonde. I see why she's a crisp winter. Make sure you, now, these right here are, are uh, customized, what do you call them, or patented color sheets. Color sheets. Okay. Let's see here. Get a look at this color. Nice yellowish, uh, slight orange. Wow, yeah. Kind of looks like uh, Morning P. It does. Some, uh, you have a on that. Yeah, it kind of looks like some Morning P. Let's uh, smell her up. Yeah, it smells like. Don't smell like too much. It smells like uh, Genesee or. Getting some. Uh, it smells like. Uh, just got it over my lip. I can't taste it yet, though. Smell light? Yeah, it does smell like. It smells like your average. Uh, well beer. Uh, smells like it's about 50 cents on the tap. Yeah, there's not much going on with this. What is this thing supposed to be? Uh, hey, hazy, crisp, bright. It's kind of hazy. Brew with spices. Doesn't even say. Kind of hazy. Yeah, it's. Uh, doesn't it's even say what kind of beer it is. So. It's, like a, it's like a driving beer. It's, it's, it's like, like a driving beer. beer. Right. Yeah, let's, let's go down the edge. All right. I feel like I'm tasting apples. I feel like I'm drinking like a Miller Extra Light. Yeah. It definitely has. I guess. I'm kind of brain dead. I can't think of it. That's an L, I think, right? Yeah, Pell L. This is like an L, I guess. I don't know. I know I'm probably going to be looking at this later. It's a 5.8. 5.8? 5 .8. 5 How did we miss that part? Alcohol percentage. Okay, so it's a Miller Lite, basically, with a little bit more kick to it. Yeah. There's really no flavor. Apple thing? I don't know what the f it's talking about. There's supposed to be apple? No, but I oh. thought there was apple taste it to it, but there's L no really. Brewed with spices. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's like a Miller Lite yeah. with, with some spices. See, this is uh, definitely a gimmick beer with a little bit of higher yeah. alcohol. It doesn't even say what it is. Samuel Adams, what are you guys doing? Mm. <coughs> oh, the Burpee Fan, I must throw up right there. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's like a driving beer. Sammy Adams, not on Christmas, though. Guys, don't be driving on Christmas because sometimes, you know, there are wrecks that happen and stuff. We got to give that out there to all the people. Checkpoints. Be careful. Um, but yeah, Sammy Adams, put a bow on this. Basically, you're f***ing us in the ass. And you put a bow on it. That's my review. Mm. You want to give our... Uh, ready to give our... I'm going to give it a two. All right, I'm going to give it a one. Oh, wow. You didn't want lower than I did. I'm going to give it a two because... Uh, like I said, it's a driving beer. Putting yeah. around through the woods, maybe. Yeah. On the side by side. Or uh, you're at a bar and you you got to drive a long distance. You don't really have to worry about getting too messed up. Yeah. You know? It might be good with wings. See? It might be good. He has nothing to say about it. And that's why nothing, I give it a no, one. Good. And why I give it a one is I have nothing to say about it. Simi Adams, you should be ashamed of yourself for f***ing us in the ass and putting a bow on this. I'm sorry, this is for kids too. It's a family show right here. See? It's giving them the sh All right, well, that's enough. Might Don't buy this. This is garbage. Yeah, See, not happening. But all other Sammy Adams stuff's pretty good. We're not trying to shit on Sammy Adams. Just is this. this and the, the, what was the winter lager or Boston lager? Or the, the, uh, the Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's disgusting. All right, well, back to the gym. Oh, yeah. Wow. While you were watching that amazing clip, we got the house together. That's right. It don't look too bad. I mean, I think it looks all right. It's got a... Uh, it's got I don't some, move it. some porting structure with it now. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take this mortar here and... Uh, oh, that looks bad. That <laughs> <laughs> looks fine. We're going to seal it up with this mortar. Um, this is harder than we what we thought it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, 
the fact that this is made for kids? Thank God they came with all this candy to hold us over. Keep it busy. The fact that this made a kid, wow. Somebody gonna eat this shit? I haven't had it in forever. Oh, you're good. Oh. Um, on hand, when you buy that, you need to buy some Clorox disinfectant wipes. Really good product. So you have some paper towels nearby. It's a freaking mess. And duct tape for your wall structure support. Yeah, because they don't give you that in a package, but you're going to need it. While well, your mortar's dry. Here, let me uh, slide this over here. See, what it is is the little, I mean, me and Clay, we're good at building. Yeah. But these interlocking things don't interlock correctly. So no, uh, they're they're like dado cuts. They're not where they're supposed to be. So there's a couple. The company's called B B. Guys, what are you doing? Little kids are supposed to be making this. No, it looks like little kids did make it. Oh yeah, like made it at the sh at the shop. Yeah, whenever they cut it out because they cut it out all wrong. It's true. They got curtain shut down. Okay, let's uh let's uh, seal up this gap right here. This is like caulking right now. This is our, our, our mortar caulk. Now you don't want to cut it too hard. No. You might break down the walls. We're just uh, we're what? building up. We're weatherizing. You want to cock it just enough. Yeah, we're just weatherizing right now. That's what we're doing. And I, I, you know, we're gonna decorate later. I'm putting some of these in here for foundational support. Those look pretty good. You know, we got a, got a gap right here. You just gotta be careful. You don't want to go too crazy there, on this. Got that cock right there. Got a hole right there. And, it, and the caulking also doubles as snow. That's true. Looks oh, like snow. Got this a hole right there. Already shaping up. You need right some of these? No. I mean, I don't like these. So. No, I gotta fix this hole right here. That's what I'm saying. We can stick some of these in to help fill it up. You know, use a part of the caulker. There we go. All right, oh, that looks good. Well, we're about out of uh, caulking here. Yeah, I think that's good. Hide that hole. Paint that over there a little bit like that. Yeah, that, looks that looks pretty good. That was real good. I'm pretty pleased with that right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just the beginning, guys. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of decorating to do. Uh, That's where it really comes out. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Martha well, Stewart couldn't make that. Another thing I'm bummed out about with this whole situation is your whole backyard, you don't have much room for a backyard. How are you going to do decorating without a whole yard and stuff? If you guys get this, Cut out a bigger piece of cardboard. That way you can make a whole backyard, make a swimming pool, all that stuff. Yeah, sometimes you got to take the plastic here and smooth your cock. Because yeah. sometimes your cock needs smooth. <laughs> it's very true. you got to smooth that cock out. I think it looks good. Uh, all right. Um, this side looks really good. But see, this is like a house that's been up for a while, made by some witch or something, and it's falling over on the one side. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's seen some better days in its life. Yeah. Yeah, these things aren't very good. Yeah, I don't like those. Yeah, we'll, just, uh, yeah, we'll decorate. Oh, yeah, this side looks a little lopsided. We need some over there. You want to throw another clip? Um, we got one more clip, I think, don't we? I don't know why they give you candy. I mean, I wish they gave you good candy. Um, yeah, let's get another clip. All right. Oh, 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 we're, um, we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, All right, so. Well, uh, oh, yeah. Um, we got another one of beer reviews for you. This is from Bill's uh, um, thankful giving from his heart. Yeah, his uh, little selection. Festival, whatever. Okay. Um, he knows a guy down at the beer store, so he gets deals. We there's we one there. Deals. And Can't look. looks like we got two left. Two left. Feels like we got two left. Out of the six pack. Left or right? You decide. You can't answer. Jim Bobby just said left or right? Uh, left. Lefty Lucy right. Uh, here we go. Boom. Oh, that's a special one. What is this right here? This is Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Anchor Brewing. 2018. Boom. Oh, there's all kinds of writing up there. I like this bottle. It's like yeah, a, it's nice. It's like an old-fashioned bottle. See, when we first got it, I didn't see what they were, but I seen that bottle, I thought that was pretty cool. Now, I'm going to throw up my first thing that kind of scares me about yes. this. Is... This feels the same way as that gingerbread porter we had that's uh, Oh, yeah. The same type of paper stuff. So that, uh, that's, that scares me off the bat. All well, right, let's see what we got here. We go down. It worked with the same paper companies. 6.9%. So this one will get you there. Well, some stuff there. Give them a warning stuff. 
It don't matter. All right. Now, well, there's no flavors or nothing, is there? Say, uh, you just say a Christmas say. tree. So is it going to taste like Christmas it tree? Might taste like pine needles. Well, let's see what it says up here. It says our special ale. Okay. Uh, this is the 44th annual our special ale from the brewers at Anchor. It is sold only from early November to mid January. The ale's recipe is different every year, as is the hard or the hand drawn tree on the label. Wow. But the intent with which we offer, it remains the same. Joy and celebration of the newness of life. Since ancient times, trees have symbolized the winter solstice. When the earth, with its seasons, appears born anew. Our tree for 2018 is a Korean pine which flourishes in a picturesque botanical garden north of San Francisco. So that's what we got right there. Oh, wow, that was pretty interesting. Hey, you ready for the crack test? Yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. Use this trusty 50 cal boy here, right? Now. Like, Where am I gonna do with that over here? Because I don't like it. Oh, well, oh, that sounded sound legit. That was now, a it, heartwarming story. Sorry. It appears that I did not open it, but in fact, I did with wow, ease. Wow, magic. All right, poor test. David Blaine over here. Oh, oh, that is an interesting color too. Oh, that's like, that's like gold right there. That's like very. Wow, oh, that does have an interesting color. It's almost like Christmas um, tree bark or a kidney infection. Um, <laughs> it's a nice head. It's got a nice head to it. Get these uh, color sheets out here. Now we've been talking for a while now about making these color sheets available for the public. It's true. I'd Maybe say, I've been put our little logo on them right now. Uh, we don't know. I've been saying I don't think so. I don't think the world's yeah, ready for it. Might yet. not be. It's no. new technology. Look at this here. Look at that color right there. Wow. That is a pretty color. That is. It's like a brownish whiskey kind of color. It is. It does have a whiskey kind of color. I like it. Look at that light. Um, All right. That smells interesting. It, does. it reminds me. I'm going to see what you say first. Now I can't smell it. Hmm, my first. Some kind of bread, maybe? Certain kind of bread? That's a. You thinking the banana bread? Yeah, it smells like the banana bread to me uh, a little bit. I didn't get that until you started saying about the bread. At first, I was thinking like. Uh, and when I say banana bread, we had this banana bread beer we used to love. Wells. Wells banana bread. Yeah. Beer. Um, it reminds me of like a. Something familiar, like a. <laughs> Oh, that smells good. That smells good. It smells. It reminds me of a lager. A um, what kind of lager is it? Yeah, it reminds me of a Yingling. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I see what you're saying with that. Just yeah, I think you're right in that. In Was that it a Yingling mixed with the banana bread beer? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a lot in the lager. I think you're right with that. Let's give her a shot. All right. Mm. That's pretty good. Oh, interesting. 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 Mm. Now, that whole Christmas tree thing was don't, boring. Don't let that deter you. Yeah, I thought, oh, man, they're all they're talking about is Christmas trees and stuff and their story and how people draw them, and they're not worried about the beer. But I think they do worry about the beer. That tastes pretty delicious. Okay, twice now I've gotten the same thing. There's, there's an initial flavor. Yeah. And then right after that passes, there's another flavor. Of yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And I don't know what's going on there, but I'm very intrigued by it. I would say there's almost a slight banana taste to it. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. just in my mind. Um, and I feel like this is a little bit uh, thicker. This is a little, not thicker. Uh, this is a heavier. But it's light on the back end. <clears throat> Woo! How was it? How was it? Pretty delicious. All right. It's, it's funny. It is thick. I'm a, I'm a poem first, but the aftertaste is very light. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't, it sticks with you. It's not bad. But it doesn't hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Oh, this is a six point something, so that's not bad. First six taste point is nine, like, almost a seven. First taste is like, oh, this is some, this is some uh, manly beer. Yeah. Second flavor that comes in, creeps in on you is like, Oh, this is a delight. 
Exactly. Very, very. Yeah. very. I think something important to I'm explain. Ready to read it. Well, hold on real quick. I was going to say this before you read it. This is something important to explain. When he says that, what he kind of means is, this ain't like buying a banana beer or some fruity beer. This is like a manly beer. It just has some good taste to it. I apologize, guy, with your rating. I'm giving it a five. Wow. wow. No, it's not something that I would sit there and drink a six-pack of and get tore up. No. But it is something I would sit there and cherish every single sip of it. Yeah. I, I can't I can't really put it into words. Like that is something you have to try. Wow, this got a five man. But uh, it's just it's something so unique. I've never tasted a beer like that. I'm personally gonna be an arse and I'm gonna give it a four. <clears throat> not because I don't like it or not, just because it, there's still a little bit more to be desired with it. I would like a little bit more of that taste to be outstanding in it and stuff. But I agree with you, it's a darn good beer. It's very different. Uh, excuse me. And this I, is, I see why it's so it's um it's it's special. It really that is a special beer. Yeah, they only make it during a certain time so and it's always a little different to add to the specialness. Yeah, so next time you get it it might not be the same thing that you're thinking it wow. is. It's crazy. I just can't get over the dull flavors. See in that case too, I understand your five because uh and I, I it's a strong four for me because that's a whole other thing. This is a special beer right here. You're not going to have this ever again. No. Ever again. Unless you go buy the same thing from the same brew this year. Yeah, at the very same time. Like, wow. And by it having two different tastes, I don't mean that it tastes like bananas and strawberries. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like beer here. Barely tastes like bananas. And then as soon as you swallow it, it tastes like something different. Yeah. It's very complex. Very other companies that say they have a complex beer yeah are full of shit. that there is something special anchor brewing you're doing your thing i'm gonna say that's amazing it's pretty amazing all, all right. right back to the show oh yeah. aren't you surprised right there just mark that stuff. off my list here of goodies it's good stuff you do wow yeah you just caught us just decorating our gingerbread house that sugar is really kicking in. It is. Oh, man. I can't do any more sugar in your I can't. Oh, man. All right, well, get to decorate. I'm decorating. Uh, putting these well, bad tasting things on. I like there. these ones. Here, we'll put this on here. Oh, I'm about candied out. These are looking pretty good. I think I'm ready to get a bed. No, we got to decorate these. Well, I am decorating. I don't understand the. If you guys know the under, why people do these gingerbread houses, let us know down in the comments because I have no idea. I thought it was because of the Norse mythology. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. That's right. right. That's right. Watch your mouth, Jimbo. It was a kid's special. Oh, sorry. Somebody must. Somebody smart must have told you about that Norse mythology. Yeah. I think I'm crashing on the sugar. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I was trying to stay oh, away from that. Other side over here. That's the thing. I was trying to stay away from this. He ate a little bit too much. Be careful at home with this stuff. This stuff will give you diabetes. I don't think it was the candy it did. I think it was eating all the mortar. That's what I'm saying. A mortar. Not the can candy's good. <laughs> You'll be all right. Uh, we yeah. have been drinking a lot. <laughs> wow. So, I, I think, think this looks amazing. People, I think the theory is people let this sit around for a while, let it get hard, and then everybody eats it and stuff. You give Jimmy the one front door. You give Susie the back door. What are we going to do with ours? Oh, we're probably going to enter it in a contest. There's just a gingerbread a... building contest. I think we're going to have to enter this in. Well, I don't see any more spots to put good. candy. Yeah, no, I think we're either. good. Not until we get the support walls off. Which we're probably just going to leave the duct tape on. Yeah. Think oh, of yeah. it more. Think of it less like duct tape. More like vinyl side. Vinyl side, exactly. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Look, we got all this candy left. This worked out pretty good. You get some free candy. Well, you're crashing, so. I am crashing. This has been. Last. We got one more clip. Oh, we got one more clip? One more clip. You sure? Yeah, one more clip. All right. Last clip. We'll see you guys you later. Oh, are we coming back? We're coming back. All right. Yeah. Shh. Jeez, Jeez. 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 You're going to leave them that soon? I don't know. All right. So we got ourselves a bit of decorative here. Yeah. We got us a phone call from none other than St. Dick. Good old St. Dick. So. Here's the problem. His reindeer have become compromised by the Pennsylvania Game Commission. Whoops. Apparently, 
flying reindeers aren't legal to be in the skies at this time of year. Now he f***ing around that magic here. See, St. Dick thought he would get himself out there and get an early start. You know, that way he's not rushing to everything last minute. Got that little midget man making all them toys for him. PA Game Commission stepped in and said, we ain't having none of that sh Yeah, but we're good friends with good old St. Nick and that's Santa Claus kids. That's right. Uh, so me and uh, Uncle Clint, Clint, we are going to help him out this year. What are we going to do? Well, since he ain't got no reindeers because they've all been detained and maybe deported back to the North Pole. We maybe don't know. even decapitated. Never know. It is a crazy world we're living in. Yep. Extremist. What we've decided is that we're going to let old St. Dick, we're going to let him uh, use our side by side wow. to deliver some toys. You mean, and people, you got out there thinking, you're going to let him, somebody else, drive this piece of gold? Gold! Yeah, we are, because it's St. Dick. But we're going to do it respectfully. It's true. And safely. It's true. That's Can't. why we got these right here. These here are. Uh, Side mirrors yeah. we're gonna put on here so St. Nick can see what's behind them in case them coppers are chasing them. It's true. Because we're gonna stock this thing full of whiskey also because he's our good buddy. He's gonna be drinking a lot while he's giving the gifts this year. So whenever you guys get your gifts in the morning, thank good old Jim Bob and Clint. As well as Santa Claus. We're not gonna brag about it or anything, but we did kind of save Christmas kinda. this year. Yeah, we kind of did. Well, we're going to. And I mean, the other thing too is while you're leaving out the milk and cookie for Santa, yeah, make sure you leave out some like Baileys for us. It's true. It's true. Uh, and let me say too, like, like any whiskey, Will's gonna wrench it. We are taking our f time. Uh, he right. he's stranded out there. Then we'll bring Daryl up. We are making him wait. Yeah, I mean, you can't rush perfection. It's true. It's Let's late. get to it. Let's do it. All right. All right. Now these here are your screws. This is the bag that came with it. You got to make sure that whenever you set these things down. You set them down somewhere safe so they're not going to roll away. See that? Nice and flat. Well, three out of four ain't bad. All right, so you got two of these sons of bitches to come to the kit. One of these is for a two-inch bar. The other one's for a three-inch bar. We are putting it right here, two-inch bar. Take this third one, get rid of it. Now, you got some rubbers here. Your rubbers are very important because the rubbers are going to keep the vibration down. So uh, you're supposed to only use one, I think. We're gonna dump them up just for uh, just for good measure here. So let's get that on there, like it. Put them in there. Then we're gonna get this on here. Uh, well, that didn't really work with the rubber in there. Maybe maybe only one rubber. Cause you know you want it to feel natural. So you don't want to use too many rubbers. So let's get that on here. see the rubber sticking out in this back here so it's not on there right do it again don't want to get your fingers in there if you do you might hurt yourself right, let's try that again spread her open spread her open and uh yeah that looks like it'll work yeah yeah I think we got her all right we got her and your mirror here in there like such, and then uh, that doesn't really does it rotate. Um, should rotate a little bit, I think. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll bet you I know. I got it. I got the answer. What's the answer? There's a thing right there. You loosen that up. And then you can pivot it like that. Because that is loose around, or it's not loose, but it's tight. So you loosen that nut up right there, that Allen wrench right there. And then you can twist this so that the top, so it goes like that. Oh. Uh, Make sense? Yeah. Alright. Now I gotta find a fits that. Now, a big part of being in the garage, you guys don't see me doing a lot of work and stuff out here. But what I'm doing is very crucial finding the right tools for the job. And hey, guess what? I'm pretty good at it because right there first try 
I found her. Look at that, it's smooth like butter. Hey, that's why they call me the go get a kid, because I go get it for you. All right, since Jim Bob was nice enough to get that uh, screw out of there, this here just pops right off like that. So now there's teeth all around there. There's teeth on here, it's like a gear. So you can't turn it when it's on there. You have to take it off like that. So we need to uh, put this piece here on here to see where it needs to go. Then we we'll drop the mirror and almost break it. So now we can adjust this for whatever the angle is we need. So right there might be a little too much yet. Maybe something like that. see enough to back up. Protein. Whenever you take this thing off of here, you want to keep a hold of it. You don't want to lose your place. So you want to get that screw back in there. Quick as two shakes of jackrabbit's Alright. Oh hey, I'm just inspecting this, making sure it's good enough for Santa Claus. I think it is. So we're going to put this on. Now, we're going to use Clint's Pro Tip. Hold it with both hands, make sure we don't drop it. Now we're gonna hold it here. Now we got our screws right here. I'm blinder than a bat. Oh, at a jazz club, if you guys know what I'm saying. Oh, here we go. All right. Now, as you can see, there's one way to put these in. Um, you put them in the wrong way, you're gonna fuck it all up. So it's pretty easy to not fuck up. But really, right now, I might be f***ing it up. So we're going to screw these in, and we'll be right back. Oh, hey. Uh, what happened was, Jim Bob got frustrated and gave up. So I had to take over and put him back at the camera. Which is probably pretty good, because when I run that camera, I get a little zoom happy. And I'm like all over the place, as you can see. Oh, that's starting. Sometimes, you got to use two of these really tight it down. So, I gotta find another one. Oh. Yep. You gotta put that seat back in right there. In that cover. What do you think about Jim Bob? Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, yep. About done here. About done here. Yep. Yeah, Alright, they look pretty good on there, I must say. Yep, pretty good. I'm gonna have to uh, get them all shined up and give her a vibrate test. See oh. just how bad these things vibrate whenever it's running. It's good just sitting idea. at idle. We'll rev it up a little bit and see what happens. All right. All right, here we're going to use some rain -X. Get some of this dust off the bottle here. Been sitting around for a while. This is a rain -X automotive glass cleaner. Cleans to a streak-free shine. Uh, this does not do what it's supposed to do. When I bought it, seeing the rain -X, I thought it was the that makes the water beat off. It doesn't. This is just rain -X brand cleaner. So it's worthless. Unless you're cleaning. There, spray it down, wipe it it's important to use a clean rag. The problem is, in a garage, ain't got no clean rags. As you can see, it doesn't look very streak free. It actually looks uh, pretty streaky. But it is what it is. The same thing as this one pop, pop. And wipe her down. It's that simple. It is that simple. Yeah. 
Now, Santa Claus is going to be real happy with his mirrors. Oh, we yeah. We need two ways about that. We use some of the rain on them to uh, make them look even worse than they were before we cleaned them. But, uh, yeah, well, yeah. I think he'll be all right. I think yeah. he's going to be safe. I mean, he's pretty sad about the reindeer getting killed and stuff, so... We figure, uh, well, I mean, we're not going to give this to him or anything, but let him ride the whiskey drinker mug bill. Yeah, that's right. Not bring some joy to his heart. So, probably should have fixed that headlight. I got a burnt out headlight. Probably should have fixed well, that. Yeah, we should have fixed that brake line, too, if we well, can. Yeah. Well, but anyway. We ain't got time for all that. Yeah, we only got it one day, you know, and he called us last minute. What are we going to do? So, yeah, I mean, hey, he's lucky he got the mirrors. It just happened to be sitting around for, like, ever. That's right. Wow. I mean, there's never a break with us, you know what I mean? We're no, always either saving the world, saving Christmas, you know, uh, but you guys are welcome. I smell gas. I smell gas, too. Let's get the out of here. Yeah, let's go. Bring the camera. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Oh, yeah. It's time for the last beer. That's right. Let's see what we got. There's no point in really making a secret of it. So it's man, man. What the hell on? I hate Bill. Is it what it is to say? F you guys, Bill. Bill, it's not funny. We're trying to do a show here. We're it's trying a to do a show. wholesome family show. All right, what we got here is Southern Tier Brewing Company. Oh, two X Moss. Two X Moss. So it's like a. Spanish beer? Might be. It might be like four or nine southern two X tier. Two might be like lower southern, like Mexico. Could be. Two X oh, yeah, it could be. What do you think two X Moss stands for? Like two X Moss. Uh, like, it almost sounds like two X Box. It could be, or it could be a letter two X Moss. And X Moss is a guy. X Moss. One of the He Man action figures. Oh, so this is named after a He Man action figure. Two X Moss. <laughs> it might be. I don't two, know. So speculation. Multiple X Mosses. Pure speculation. Weird. I don't know. I think it means X Xmas. How people say like, no Christmas. They yeah. say Xmas because there's only one Christmas. Well, it's, it, well, so X Moss is not Christmas. It can't be. <laughs> I don't know. But, but either it does way, like, does look like it has ornaments on it. It looks like it's two times whatever. So it's yeah. you know times two, two almost two two he times two, Moss two He Man figures. So whatever Moss is, it's two mm. times that. Yeah, Moss like this the is, uh, stuff. Uh, uh, in the Swamp woods. things made yeah. out. Yeah. Now listen to this real quick. This is a spice double L. This is brewed with orange pills, ginger root, cardamom, cinnamon, fig paste, and cloves. So it's got part car bomb in it? It does have car, car bomb, Irish car bomb, we're hoping. This is an 8.0 by volume alcohol. Not a bad alcohol percentage if you ask me. 8.0? Oh, yeah. All right. right there. So we're gonna get, just get it cracked open. Oh. Sounds sounds pretty pretty legit. It did, and it had a little little steamage coming out. Oh of yeah, it. pour her out here. Ooh. Wow! It's like fire in a bottle. It is. It's a lot like fire. Mm. It's clear. Pull out these here special color sheets and take a look. What do you think? What do you think right there? Look at this. What do you think? Oh, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, did you read the top of the cap? There's stuff on top of the cap to read. Was, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, all right. Gotcha. Well, that's fair. Gotcha. I just want you to get the same one. All right. I smell, right? Oh. Mm, yeah. Mm, I smell spice. I don't know what it is I smell. Maybe it's the fig paste. I smell. Oh, man. I think they went a little heavy on the fig paste, if you ask me. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'll splash a little bit there. Yeah, it's got an interesting smell to it. I smell the spices. I smell... Smell nutmeg and cinnamon and okay, yeah, I do smell that. Yeah, you know what I think I smell? <laughs> I forgot to breathe. I think I smell a little bit of orange pills, ginger root, cardamom, cinnamon, fig paste. Uh, what's the other thing? Cloves, cloves. I don't smell any cardamom in her. I don't either. I think there's milk in. I mean, black cardamom. powder has a distinct smell to it, and there's definitely no cardamom in there. Yeah, and whenever you, you know, Irish car bombs too, you drop a shot in the milk or whatever it is, your Guinness maybe it is. I think I smell a little bit of the ginseng. Yeah. Because I'm a big fan of the ginseng and honey tea. Yeah. So I think I smell a little bit of that in there. One thing I think this is lacking a little bit is, um. Black earth in there. No, the cardamom. 
Let me use a little more cardamom in my um, the Christmas beers. You don't even know what that is. <laughs> I know. All right, well, let's, All right, yeah, let's put it down. Put it down for All right. Ooh, I taste those spices right away. Yeah, spices are pretty potent. It's interesting. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm pretty happy with this one because uh, this is 8.0. <clears throat> yeah, so, let's go get you there. That doesn't seem like an 8.0. That's no. something you can kick back with the family, drink that thing, get blitzed. And really enjoy your family time. Exactly. Nobody will you know you're getting blitzed. Yeah, you'll be drunk and they'll all seem a lot more likable. Exactly. Oh, wait. There's one last thing. Oh, man. I hate when that you say that. That kind of scared me a little bit. I thought something might have came out of there. Uh, uh, woo! Not bad. Um, now, I think there's many bitter Christmas beers out there. And surprisingly, none of these Christmas beers really hit me in the boo-boo. No. It really got me there. Um, but this one, I think out of all the ones we reviewed, the Christmas beers that Bill got us, I think this one's the best one. Really? In my opinion. What, do you know, what number are you It's the it? most Christmassy, in a way. I'm going to give it a... But it ain't that good, you know? So, I think I'm going to give it a... Uh, I'm going to give it... Ooh. I want to give it a three, but I'm going to give it a four, because I'm going to give it a one extra holiday point. Oh, let's get a holiday point. Because the main reason I'm giving it any score is because of the holiday effect to it. I think it's okay. It's the be I don't know this to it. You know what? I'm going to give it a three. Stop, just stop the presses. I'm going to give it three because they're lying. What is 2Xmas? I think it's BS. I don't know what to think about this. It's all right. What do you think? I'm going to give it hmm, a one. That's I don't a care one. if I ever drink that again. Wow. I don't really care for it at all. Um, Jeez. The only reason it's getting a one and not a zero is because of the high alcohol content. True. Um, and each you're... drink of it I take, mm -hmm. it seems to get a little more bitter to me. Um, I just yeah. don't like it. I don't care for it at all. I feel you. Maybe if you chug it, you're not getting as individual bitter taste. See, I chugged it, yeah. Then so maybe that might help. That's a good point. But as a as a just a sipping drinking beer, nah. I you know what? I take it back too. This isn't my favorite out of all of them. What do you think your favorite out of all of them would be, Jim Bob? I can't remember what we did like five minutes ago. <laughs> as I remember, I think that gingerbread beer with the little gingerbread man on it. I don't even remember. I just seen it sitting over there. And that's the that's the ginger yeah that's gingerbread. We didn't like that because it had the nice label, but it didn't taste good. <laughs> oh, I don't remember anything either. So. Maybe you guys remember. I did that last one I liked a lot. It had yeah. the complex taste, whatever. Well, it was. hey guys, put, was... put it down in the comments which ones we like better out of all of them. <laughs> we don't know. We don't remember. Keep in mind, we were drinking the al the strong alcohol eggnog. Yeah. We drank six different beers here. Man, yeah. What we were doing behind the scenes is our business and not yours. Not your business. So stay out of it, Bill. Well, Bill. I don't know. Well. It's Christmas time. We should go oh, back to the show, right? Yeah, probably. That just came with came, yeah. That kind of looks like Bill on there. It does look like Bill. It does look like Bill. Except for Bill looks like more of an asshole. Yeah, that, if it was Bill, he'd have a penis as well. All right, back to the show. All right. Wow. Ooh, that was the last one right there. I was about to tear my how sad it is that this is ending. Oh, yeah. I mean. <sighs> oh, the candy, though. Mm. Oh, the sugar. Well, that was an amazing. Now, I want to say real quick, everybody, this is Clint's idea. He said, hey, Jim Bob, why don't we do, I got an idea. Why don't we do an ex extravaganza? Yeah. An extravaganza. Let's do all the different shows we do, put it into one thing. I said, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. You made a great idea. You did. Now, we got some bad news while you were watching that clip. Turns out that the, uh, the deadline for the registration for the gingerbread house has passed. So a contest? Yeah, so we came yeah. up with another idea. It's true. You want to show them? Yeah. All right, come with us. Well, Jim Bob, there's only one thing left to do. Oh, yeah.
Uciszaj! Uciszaj! It's a little more efficient. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Do I need to pump it? Nope. 